Hey, hi everybody, welcome back. It's not so berry day. Big moment for us. <laughs> Very exciting. Um, let me text my sister back real quick. Okay, anyway, hi everybody, welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Um, we're gonna play a little bit of The Sims. We're gonna probably have a wedding in The Sims, I think. Um, so that should be kind of fun. And also, uh, there was a huge Sims announcement today. We're getting another stuff pack. <laughs> um, and you're gonna be able to make jewelry in the new stuff pack. Um, so kind of like what we had predicted, we were all kind of joking about like, oh, maybe it'll be a jewelry making thing. Maybe it'll be like a, the gem cutter from Supernatural. It sounds like it's both. <laughs> it's like gem cutting and jewelry making. So we, we're getting both and it should be fun. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. That's coming out next week. Um, so it's not too far away at this point. Um, but it'll be a, hopefully a fun one. <laughs> See, they're all gonna ask how many graves I have. I'll check, I'll show you. Let me get loaded in and then I can show you. The answer is uh, close to 300, but I probably shouldn't spoil it. 279 is the real number. So anyway. <laughs> Let me load in. Ooh, that looks beautiful. They're featuring a build from 2014. That can't be right. It must be recent. Anyway, the gallery has all the glitches. Um, the, t the date that things are uploaded is like super glitched. So, um, oh, hello. This is not, there we go. Now it's loading. <laughs> the gallery is having all kinds of problems with the upload dates. It's like you uploaded this in 1989 or something ridiculous. <laughs> Once your bill was in 1997, really? <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't think that's right. That can't be true. <laughs> um, we were at the magic realm. I guess I'll go back. I don't know. Um, Gamer, Golden Circus, and Laura, and Jesse. Oh, if I go back, then I can't show you my graves. Dang. Well, <laughs> I'll show you in a bit. I'll show you in a bit. Anyway, uh, I saw somebody else ask um, if we're playing Among Us tomorrow, and the answer is no. We're playing Among Us on Thursday. Tomorrow, um, I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. And tomorrow we are playing House Flipper. We're playing Among Us on Thursday um, when everybody else is there. Also, Capo, hello! Happy birthday, everyone! Pause. Mod birthday alert. <laughs> everybody say happy birthday, Tara. It's very important. <laughs> um, also, Occidental and, and Rebecca and Cream and Anna and Aussie and Katie and Laser. And everybody, thank you so much for the subs and stuff. Um, and thank you for being kind to Tara. <laughs> it's very nice of you. Oh, we're asleep at the magic realm. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. That's fine. Sure game. Um, okay. Um, so let me pull up also all the things we're going to need for the stream. I don't think I ever changed the bot. So let me do that too, <laughs> just really quickly. Um, and then we can play some games and stuff. You set an alarm for when I started streaming, did you? I think that's really cool. I hope you have fun hanging out tonight. Oh, the, the bot is already fixed then. Thank you, mods. You have magic powers. Um, so, okay. Um, aside from this, oh, you know what maybe I should do? We've talked about redoing the magic realm again, but I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. Maybe I will place the magic realm that I've built down though. So just so we don't have to look at this anymore. Cause this is, we rebuilt the magic realm. We just did one. No, I didn't renovate it. I just rebuilt it like a few months ago, 50 by 40. We just did one. I forgot about that. It has like, Oh, it's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, um, what? I'm allowed to have this opinion about my own builds. You are strange. That's mean, Tilly. What if it crashes? Oh, it looks less bad in real life than it does in the gallery photo. Okay, come on game, stop lagging. Get it together. Okay, I think we should be good. Um, we built this on stream like a while back. Um, but we've got a new magic realm, so there. 
Imagine it with the castle pack. Oh, it would be kind of fun with the castle pack. Um, so... It's only 1 p.m. Should we stay here for like a couple more hours and then... Go from there? Probably. All right. Plaza, Fluxy, Yoda, or sorry, Econ, and Blue, and Mooney, and Spam, and Cat, and Ghost, and, and another ghost. Well, that's weird. Two people call ghosts. <laughs> and Annabelle, and Larley, and Sick, and Leslie, and Margaret, and Comfy, and Mervin, and another ghost boy. There's more ghosts. Everybody's called ghosts today. Thank you for the subs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Phyllis and Ash and Chickadee and Aaron and Coffee and Welsh and Rib and Kay. Thank you so much for all the subs and stuff. Um, this is Moss's partner, yeah. So I'll get you all a little update. I wanted to let her hang out and um, work on doing some searching and learning and everything while we are here. I think right at the end of the stream, last time we played, we were trying to get some recipes and stuff. Um, Oh, hello. Um, so we can do a little bit of that, and then I'll probably go home, so we're home by three. Um, but anyway, Maddie and Each and Dandy and Nilo and Unicorn, thank you for the subs. <laughs> um, anyway, hurry up. Get your recipe, and then we'll go home. What did the Sims stream about today? You slept through it? Oh, they didn't really stream. It was um, a video premiere, so it, they live streamed the premiere, but it was a two minute long premiere, so not really a stream. Uh, it's a trailer for the new the new stuff pack. So um, if you wanna watch it, they posted it uh, earlier today, but very exciting. We're getting a, like a jewelry making stuff pack, so. And the highlight is that a lot of the jewelry that you can make, you can charge it with like special powers, like summon the Grim Reaper and like, um, get extra, like, creative skill gain and all kinds of chaotic stuff. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. It's like a crystal pack, but it's got, like, these jewelry things have, like, magic powers. So it, there's, like, levels to it. Um, but anyway. Yeah, we don't need to summon the Grim Reaper because we already have him always. Um, you'll see. <laughs> I don't need to worry about summoning Grim, um, because he basically lives here. As you can see, um, he's kind of just usually around. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let me go get some food and stuff and then we can start playing for real. So welcome back everyone to the Not So Berry Challenge. Um, we are on the ninth generation of Not So Berry, but it's the 19th generation of this save because we started playing it on like Gen 11 of, uh, of a previously existing save file. Um, that's why I have so many graves. These ones are all Sims that I know. These are all strangers that I found. Um, <laughs> and because we were on the green generation, oh, Tofu and Pulp are friends. Oh my God. Because we're on the green generation, uh, this is Moss, they are green. Um, this is their fiance, she is green. Um, Moss also lives with their two younger brothers because our mother died, so we're kind of taking care of them. They're both in high school. Um, and that's sort of the situation. <laughs> um, not so very is a legacy challenge where each generation is a color theme. So when I say it's the green gen, green. <laughs> Um, and that like all the traits are green, stuff like that. Um, it's sort of silly, squeamish, you know, stuff like that. But um, we are playing that. If you haven't seen the rules, well, they'll be linked in the chat. You can also just Google not so berry. You'll find the rules are very easy. I wrote them like 2017, but <laughs> um, that's how it works. And now we can play because we're all caught up. Um, okay, so the kids are home from school. You are gonna age up today. I might just age up pickle, or sorry, that's algae, my bad. I might just age up algae now because I'm kind of trying to get the Sims out so we can have a kid. Um, but I wanna wait a little bit longer because I think we're gonna have the, we're gonna have the wedding on Saturday. Oh my God, not this. It's a lie, again. We haven't had this in a while. Oh my God. And our evil dad wants to come over. Okay, three things. Let me, you can, I'll just say yes. The glitch with the rodent is where it says Alan passed away from starvation. You tell me, does Alan look dead to you? No, no, Alan does not look dead. This baby whisked away, what baby? A lie. So whenever this happens, um, we have to cheat all of that away because there is no baby, there is no death. It's a lie. 
So we'll handle that, I guess, on our own. Oh my gosh. The save is just so used to death, it gets confused. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, Cleo and Blaze and Grant and Nat, thank you for the subs. Oh my. Okay, well anyway, the rat's fine. I It's been a while since we had it glitch like that, so. We, whenever this starts happening, it usually happens repeatedly. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it happens, like, three times today. Okay. So, add birthday candles. Let me try to blow out the candles. I'm just gonna get rid of the kid. Goodbye to you. Girl, please clean his cage. Well, so what do you think the other Sim's doing upstairs? It's okay. What do you think we're doing right now? Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, so we'll get algae aged up. Um, I usually randomize the traits. Unflirty! Okay. What do you want to do? You're outgoing, loyal, and unflirty. Maybe you want to have like a bunch of friends. You have a fear of cow plants and a fear of fire. Oh, that's right. Last time we played, we were trying to date Tony. Oh, we can still do that. We were trying to date Tony because um, Tony was the younger brother of Moss's ex. And we thought it was really funny to date like our sibling's ex-boyfriend's younger sibling. That sounds complicated. It's not. <laughs> but I thought it would be kind of fun if we did that. Because look, Moss dated um, Oscar. And Oscar is brothers with Tony. So, do we decide on an heir? Oh, Emily. Moss has been the heir since before they were born. Moss has been the heir. <laughs> we decided on that one long ago. <laughs> before we even got pregnant, we were like, we are naming the next baby Moss. And they are going to be the heir. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'm I'm feeling pretty uh, good about that. <laughs> Oscar and Tony like the awards. Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. That's true. Um, that is true. Well, so that's what I was just thinking. I know I didn't say it out loud, but when I randomized the unflirty trait, I was like, oh, maybe they could be ace. And then I was like, oh, but we already started dating. Do we still want to do that? Do we still want to date the ex? Like, is it still fun for us to date the ex? Ex's brother, not the ex. It just depends what's important to us. <laughs> like, is it is it fun for us to date the ex's sibling for the drama to be related to the ex in some way? But I don't know. Um, I don't know. Well, okay, guys, let me back up again. <laughs> Obviously, ace people do date. Um, there are people in chat because they're unflirty. I feel like the unflirty thing kind of gives a romantic vibes as well, um, which is why I said that. I'm sorry if I misspoke and you misunderstood me. I anyway. <laughs> Anyway, um, I, I don't know yet. We can think about it. Um, I guess it doesn't really, we don't have to date that person. <laughs> we were really excited about it a few days ago though. <laughs> so anyway, lots of conflicting opinions on what's best in chat, but we can think about it. Um, then AJ and Kaywit and Sassy and Marth and Feisty. Thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, okay. So, um, you need to take care of your needs. Yikes, everybody's doing really bad today, aren't we? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll handle it. It's gonna be fine. I might also cheat the pet's needs, too. Because <laughs> huge yikes. <laughs> huge yikes. Um, more choices, cheat need. I have to be careful with this when I do it, because one time I deleted a cat by accident doing this. But I feel like I should be allowed to cheat the pet's needs in the beginning of the stream. It doesn't count when you do it like that, you know? <laughs> well, that's the thing, right, Ghost? It's everybody is different, so you can't really make, like, blanket statements about this kind of stuff, especially not, um, <laughs> especially not on stream with all these thousands of people. Everybody has different interpretations of sexuality and stuff, right? So, um, anyway. Um, all of that to say, who knows what the sim is like yet? <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> pulp cam? Oh, I can show you that too. Oh, pulp's in heat. Oh dear. What a 
creature. What a creature that is. <laughs> Every time. Absolutely iconic. Okay, so if we're gonna have a wedding on Saturday, we have a couple days left to get everything together and get focused before this begins, yes? Um, maybe you could come play some video games too while we wait. You could enter a, no a novice tournament, maybe. That could be fun. And then you, do you wanna come work on anything in the garden actually need any help? No, okay. We're fine. Pulpies, please. Oh no, 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 I, no. <laughs> No one get their hopes up about this. I am not having more pets right now. We already got tricked into having three pets. There is absolutely not a single chance in the world that we're having puppies right now. We have enough. <laughs> Pulp has actually had two sets of puppies before. Um, so. <laughs> Can I get her spayed? Well, we specifically wanted to have puppies with Pulp a couple times because we had Pulpies. Um, which we may do again at some point in the future because she is immortal. I guess the spay and neuter in the sims is like kind of reversible because you can just do it in cast, but I don't think it matters that much. Pulp is a parent? Well, yeah, except all of Pulp's pulpies are long dead. They all died of old age a long time ago. Pulp is immortal, so, um, a lot goes on. <laughs> a lot goes on with this. What did they look like? Um... They, we did it with a weenie dog. So they looked kind of like a weenie dog and a pulp. No, I don't think she was too worried about her kids. I, I don't think you guys need to feel bad for her about them being dead or anything. I don't think she cares. She doesn't remember them. It's fine. <laughs> They're all good. No problems. <laughs> Alex, Dahlia, Nightwolf, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Well... I guess I could get you in a job, huh? It might be helpful if you worked for a few days while you're here too, because we're not gonna kick you out just yet. Pulp is immortal, how did you do that? Oh, you just, um, you can buy from the, like the vet, you can buy age down treats. Um, and so I just go there whenever Pulp becomes an elder and I get an age down treat and I fix it. <laughs> it's actually really quite simple. Oh, maybe algae could be an entertainer. I kind of like that. Your mom was a comedian, so maybe you've kind of like taken after her a little bit. Let me get you a guitar. Um, that seems like fun. Let me grab guitar. Maureen and Cindy and Pixie, thank you for the subs. Um, place that literally anywhere, okay. And then you take this. Do you want to go into your own room to start practicing it? You have a new desktop background. Is it pulp, Tilly? Because if it's not pulp, I'm not interested. <laughs> oh, you're miserable. Oh, it's your dad. Yikes. We aren't a huge fan of dad. Um, he cheated on our mom with an alien, and then she died when she found out because she was so angry about it. So, it is pulp. Your desktop background is pulp. Okay. Oh, it does. It looks good. It looks good. Tilly, if you want, I can give you the actual screenshot so you don't have to take a screenshot of the stream. It'll be higher quality. <laughs> Hold on. Here, you know what I can get you all? I'll put it in announcements in the Discord server. That way everybody can have the, the full screenshot. Yeah. I'll put, I'll put two. One a little bit more zoomed out. Yeah, okay. Here you go. The last announcement was me canceling stream because I was sick last week. <laughs> and then there's just a no context photo of Pulp. If you're not here right now, like if you're not at the stream, you're probably gonna be like, huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, um, you're playing games. That's not what I told you to do. I wanted you to play guitar. You have a Discord server? Yeah, we've had a Discord server for years. Um, if you'd like to join it, you're welcome to. Just discord.gg forward slash Lil Simsy. 
um, if you're ever interested in joining us. Everybody's welcome. That's not your bed. That is not your bed. Maybe you can come experiment with the potions a bit. Did Pickle get eaten by a cow plant recently? Yeah, they all keep autonomously eating the cow plant. It's pretty, pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually finding it really stressful. Oh, you're too uncomfortable to do your homework. Okay. But anyway. <laughs> oh, did we lose? Moss didn't win the tournament. That's all right. It happens. Oh, it's dad. Maybe they're, maybe they're like repairing their relationship a little bit. You know? Maybe things are, maybe things are looking up for us. Just a bit. It's been a while and maybe we miss our family. We were close with him when we were young, so. Um, you know. <laughs> okay, hurry up, get some food, Moss. I think I might- You think Lincoln should leave the alien? You think so? I don't know. I feel like, um... I just- I don't really want him to- I think he still loves her. The alien. He did call us and ask if he should cheat on the alien. To which we said no. Or no, we said yes, didn't we? And we made fun of him. I can't remember. Either way, I don't think he should leave her yet. Even if he's not happy with the alien, I think that he should suffer through it. Because I, I feel like he deserves to be unhappy a little bit. You know? Burned out. I don't want to deal with that. I actually don't care about that. I don't, I don't want that to be my thing to have to worry about. <laughs> Oh my. Okay, so... Everyone's gonna go to bed. That'll be good. The next gen color is blue. So when we have a baby in the future, it'll be blue. Um, we'll probably try for a baby. I think I want them to have a wedding first. Because I'm trying to like space it out a little bit. I don't want to have a kid just yet because we still have too many sims in the house. Like I don't want to... I'll wait until our brothers are more, more gone, but... Um, we'll probably try for maybe this weekend after the wedding. I think. I think. <laughs> Mommy, Ellie, Sky, Emmy, and we, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. I feel pretty good about this so far. And it's actually letting us triple speed too, even though there's ghosts out there. So that's kind of interesting and fun. You're excited for the blue suburban? I know, when we make when we make the next gen's house like the ultimate blue suburban, I'm gonna have a great time. That's gonna be really funny. I'm sorry, I was just checking my phone because I got I just got tagged um in a post from Tiltify on Instagram. We are the number 10 top fundraiser <laughs> across all of Tiltify. Uh, we raised this year in 2023, we raised $551,748 in 2023 um and the picture they posted is me and the cats oh i'm my phone's plugged in look at that focus that's cute oh my god you can't see it's okay you can visualize it <laughs> so that's kind of fun thank you tiltify i saw i was like tiltify tagged you in a post on my phone and i was like huh <laughs> what's that mean <laughs> that's cool though um, that is, uh, all thanks to you all, so that is very, very impressive. All right, you want to get some leftovers, buddy? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Happy 4 a.m. Just really, and Bobby, thank you for the subs. Um, all right, come on. Come oh, we're stuck in a ghost. Who's that? Georgia! Oh, it's our uncle! Oh my god, this is the person who the alien moved in with, like, the alien knew this guy because they were co-workers, because he's an astronaut. And the alien moved in with his wife after he died. Oh yeah, Georgia's dead. Georgia is our uncle. Um, he died of neighborhood stories. I think he, like, I think they said he, like, fell off a mountain or something. Um, so. <laughs> something like that is what happened. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> but super dead from neighborhood stories is all. I didn't, I wasn't involved, but... Maybe the alien pushed him off the mountain. Bamfo. 
home and cozy. Wow. That is messed up, huh? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I have read that, Simpton. Yeah, I read that last year. Like, last January or something, I forget. Um, but I liked that one. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is what they're asking about. Um, and, and Moose Girl, thank you for the 18 months, too. We're not pregnant. No, Little Blue. We're not pregnant right now. I, I decided I wanted to wait until we've moved out the siblings. I, I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer. We're having a wedding tomorrow in-game, and so we'll probably get pregnant then. In game tomorrow. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Oh, ooh, 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 we can buy more talent things. Okay, so we want to do potion stuff. I think potion stuff is like my high, highest uh, priority right now. But we get more items when f harvesting ingredients in the magical realm. We can see magical moats and collect them. Can cast discharge, which empties spell caster discharge. We probably should get that too, huh? Hmm. Casting a spell adds less spell caster charge. Maybe then I'll get the extra chemistry one. Are any of these helpful, do you think? Practical spells and potions. Mm. I don't know. Simsy being a spellcaster. Yeah, we don't really play with the cult stuff too much, but um, I don't know. I, uh, I'm overthinking it. <laughs> I don't know which one I should pick. I feel like she does give Mischief Master vibes, right? Do you want to do the Mischief one? I got it. It's happened. It's too late. We're mischievous. Okay. <laughs> you need to achieve level four of the gardening skill. Annoyingly, I need to do some more planting, I fear. Do you want to come harvest all of this? How are these doing? Let me purchase, like, I planted, yeah, I planted the apple tree out there. Maybe we could get, um, purchase seeds. Buy some more starter fruits and see what we can get out of that. We might also just go out to the shop and see what they're selling. We have some money, but we could go and see what they're selling um, in like Henford on Bagley and buy some stuff. The rainbow thing we have 12 of. It's an unidentified fruit object. It makes pretty good money, you see that? What we need is money, <laughs> so. Yes, you know what I was just thinking? Alphaba is gonna be like actually perfect for the new stuff pack. Like she's gonna thrive with that. I think she'll have a great time. Uh, it was like made for her, I feel like. So we'll have a lot of fun with that one, I think. Um, well, that comes out next week only, so we'll be ready. <laughs> but see, I can sell my unidentified fruit objects. I might sell, I have some extra death flowers in my household inventory, so I might sell a couple. Eh, sell some of the more expensive fruits. Let's go out then. I wanna go to Henford on Bagley and see. Um, am I gonna run out with the new stuff? I'm not gonna like renovate, renovate. Um, I'll put some things in it. Oh, we are in Henford on Bagley. I meant like, let's go out. <laughs> let's go out to the community lot so we can actually access the shops. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think we could also get some crystals so we could be ready. <laughs> That's true. We can start getting crystals ready now, so we're prepared for next week. Brayden, thanks for the 72 months, by the way. And Sky and Miss Lila, thank you for the subs, too. Um, okay. Let's see what they're selling, though. I'm trying to get some, like, fancy plants, basically. Um, do I have plans for Leap Day other than the pack? Yeah, I'm literally going to New York. I'm gonna be in New York City on Leap Day. The day the pack comes out, I'm not gonna be here. <sighs> So I guess we'll be able to stream like early access to the pack, hopefully on the Wednesday instead of the Thursday, but I, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be home on, on the 29th. So, um, there's no way around that one. <laughs> I'm going to visit my friend Hope. Um, we planned this like ages ago, you know? So anyway, I won't be here, um, but we'll play, we'll do the stream on the early access and then we'll play again once I'm back, but, um, and I'll pre-record videos for YouTube. It's just annoying because I won't be able to stream that weekend. Um, because I'm not going to be around. <laughs> I 
I can't believe they're doing this. Of all the times, I don't go anywhere. I'm always here. I'm always here. <laughs> anyway, don't get my friend sick. Okay, we don't need to panic. <laughs> Me and Dan have been testing negative already, and that's not until the end of next week, which at that point will be like almost three weeks since we tested positive for COVID. So it's really okay. And obviously if I'm sick or testing positive, I'm not going to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not like a horrible person, okay? <laughs> we are responsible about these things. Let's not, let's not panic about it, okay? Um, Lex and Poodles, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, like, travel if I'm sick, <laughs> but... Anyway, when do they- we want them to open. I was kind of waiting. They're being a bit, uh, slow here. It's finally almost 9 a.m., though. I'm glad you are leaving so we get new Sims content. It's the only way. I'm starting to think that, to be honest. Anyway, sorry if I came on strong. I just don't want people to- it's- uh, it's very distressing to me that people might even- think for a second that I would get on a plane if I had COVID. Like, <laughs> Jesus, come on, let's, let's not be making any wild accusations like that. Why would I do that? <laughs> anyway, um, anyway, <laughs> just <laughs> like, hold off. Let's not be going around saying that. Okay, um, I'm gonna buy, I don't really want a black bean. I don't think that's gonna be helpful for us. I don't know if we have any cherries, so we could plant some cherries outside. We'll get like a collection of trees growing. Lemons will be helpful to us as well. I probably don't have any onions. I might get some pears. I know I have plantains already. I know I have roses. I think I definitely have tomatoes too. Okay, that's a good start. What are the COVID restrictions where you live? I live in Florida. Never has been around here. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that doesn't mean that's what I do. Obviously, I'm a responsible person. Um, but I live in Florida, so. Um, okay, I think... I'm just gonna buy some extra lemons. I feel like we're gonna want some of this stuff. Oh, pomegranate, that's helpful too. Okay, that's what I came here for. Now we can go back. Um, I think... Anyway, I find all of this discourse about this very distressing. It's like I never should have said I was sick. <laughs> I should have kept it to myself. Everybody's like... Anyway, I'm okay. Everything's fine. Um, we were lucky that it was very mild. It's important to be vaccinated, obviously. Um, and I'm feeling a lot better. Testing negative. Everything's fine. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I guess also I posted like a video on Sunday that I recorded days ago. So it might seem like I'm sicker, but that was because I filmed it a while back, you know, delayed uploads. But in reality, we're all right. You know, <laughs> everything's okay. Um, all right. Would you care to plant that plantain? And then we can also plant the cherry the pomegranate, the lemon, and the pear. Okay. The cow plants are still hungry. Um, I guess I guess I could feed them right now. Oh no. Yeah, they're fine. Let's feed them. Um, okay, come on. Fed, problem solved. Okay. I did see that you can summon Grim with the new pack. Yeah, I did. I'm pretty excited about it. We were joking about how we don't need that. <laughs> we were like, we don't need to summon Grim. He's already always here. <laughs> we don't summon Grim. He lives here. <laughs> Was the joke, but um, yeah, we're kind of excited about the thought of that for sure. All right, let's get all of this planted. I don't. She's not planting it all on her own, so I'll queue it up. Yes. Why not? Um, the Sims team was tired of killing Sims or want to romance him. Yeah, so they're like, you know what? You can just summon him. It's fine. 
Um, I bet. I mean, it's fun because I, I think that there's a lot of effort being put into um, like almost making it easier to access a lot of the features in the game that are maybe like less commonly used. Don't be paranoid. Um, but you know, there's stuff that like maybe people don't often get a chance to see because maybe they never play long enough for a sim to die or whatever it might be. So it's kind of fun for them to like uh, make some of these lesser used and lesser known features more obvious to people. Um, give you some options, you know? Oh my God, are you hungry again? I'll fill your food, don't worry little rat. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, TT and Lexa and Oi and Lila, thank you for the subs. Okay. Um, otherwise, you're just hanging out in the pool, huh? <laughs> you have work in five hours. Maybe you could come talk to, um, Alphaba. See if that helps get your social need fixed. That's true. Summoning Grim would be good for the grilled cheese aspiration. That's a good point. Um, lots of stuff, lots of reasons. <laughs> the grilled cheese aspiration is a fun one. Okay. Oh, we have a poll apparently about crystals from Tilly. Interesting. Um, are you gonna talk or no? Okay, we're going upstairs, that's fine. This is not really the most effective thing to do. Gossip, show off muscles, give fake bad news, enthuse about fitness. Oh, hi, Tiltify! I just saw, I, we, we were just talking about it um, because I saw a notification on my phone. I was like, Tiltify, tag me in a post? <laughs> we were like literally a second ago, we were just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, Elphaba like Wicked. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, but thank you, that was very nice of you. <laughs> it kind of surprised me when I saw it, but in a fun way. You be careful with that rat, by the way, Alphaba. You be careful with the rat. Imagine we get, like, the rodent disease. Huge yikes. Alright, let's go experiment some more, maybe. Let's see what we can do. Um, your fiancé finished buying you all the packs you were missing? Oh, that's really cool. Have the absolute best time with that. That's really, really fun. Yes, yes, we did get the plaque. I literally have it on my desk. <laughs> the, when I, we opened this, oh, oh my God. Sorry guys, I knocked my water over. <laughs> that was scary. We're fine. Um, my bad. <laughs> it's a big cup. It's, it's, it didn't spill, it's closed. Um, but we were talking about this the other day because I didn't know this was gonna happen, but we opened this on stream the other day when it came. I got a plaque from Tiltify. We got a plaque from Tiltify. Presented to Lil Simsy for surpassing $1 million raised for charity. <laughs> Thought it was the plaque that fell. No, 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 don't worry. It was just, I hit the, my water with the box. Um, it's heavy. <laughs> uh, but now we have a plaque. I still had it on my desk because I haven't like hung it up or anything yet. Um, but it's in a big shiny box. Very beautiful. We're keeping this box forever. We were joking about that too. <laughs> I have, um, I don't know, you can probably tell, but behind me, I have my million subscriber YouTube plaque and above it is the 100K plaque um, from my More Simsy channel. Lil Simsy's 100K plaque is that one. You can't really tell because it's blurry, but I'm gonna put it behind me. I just haven't hung it up yet. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it though. Oh, I almost closed the game. When I hit the thing with my, <laughs> with my water. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay. Um, can you take care of the mail quickly? Please, please actually be like, gifts or something. Is Elphaba best friends with Galinda? No, we don't have a Galinda in this save, unfortunately. Elphaba is marrying a sim called Moss though. So they're like close enough, right? <laughs> Maybe I should save, that's a good point. I think you're onto something, chat. <laughs> Uh, what else? Thank you for the 29 month resub. Um, no, we're not playing Among Us tomorrow, Lila. We're playing Among Us on Thursday. Um, so we'll we'll be here on Thursday for Among Us. Alright, if we're gonna have the wedding tomorrow in the game, not in real life, let me see about outfits. Um, we're playing Among Us on Thursday. That is the plan. 
Simsy, should we have a truce? Honestly, Shola, I'm I'm open to it. I think that together you and I could actually do great evil. But we can't ever tell people about it, you know? But I think that you and I could, together could like kind of take over the world or something. Just an idea. But you guys gotta like shh about that though, okay? Shame you just discussed it on stream. No one's gonna find out. No one's gonna find out. It's fine. Anyway, here's Alphaba. Do we have a wedding outfit? Oh, I think that this was Alphaba's prom dress, I believe. That's the reason that Christine made it. But this would make for a really beautiful wedding gown. I think. I always forget about these beautiful earrings. The green is stunning on those. I could totally see her wearing black to the wedding. I think this might be the way. Zuckerberg. You wanna talk about wedding? You guys, huh? I'm this I don't mean to like uh ruin the vibes, <laughs> okay? But speaking of wedding, earlier today I uh was building this. I was making like a little uh, wedding dress shop. <laughs> I get a text from my dad. He says, are you busy? Can I call you? And I said, I'm just finishing recording. What's up? And then he said, I might cry when we talk on the phone. I'm just warning you. I said, uh oh. <laughs> um, my parents dog, Captain, uh, who had his toe amputated a couple weeks ago because he had cancer in his toe. Things are not looking good, <laughs> uh, is the reason my dad called. <laughs> Got some bad news on the results from when they, they took the toe and shipped it off and did some testing. Um, not good, <laughs> actually, was the final result. Um, so yeah, huge yikes on that one. Anyway, all that to say, speaking of wedding dresses, bad energy. <laughs> bad energy with wedding dresses. <laughs> When you see that video in a few days, I don't think you'll be able to tell, but in the middle of it, we had to take a moment, have a bit of a crisis, um, and then return. <laughs> so, oh my god. Anyway, um, just huge, massive yikes. It's been a rough year for my family with the pets, um, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. This is the second one of my family's pets to have cancer in, like, the last six months, literally. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, and it's just gonna get worse because we have three elderly dogs um, and I have an elderly cat as well, so <laughs> We're in for it now <laughs> But anyway, I'm fine. I'm um, I don't know We're handling it I guess um, How old are the dogs? Uh, they are eight ten and almost twelve the three dogs and they're Rottweilers, um, which is quite old for a Rottweiler. Um, Captain is the one who is eight though, um, which is just a cruel twist of fate, you know? Like, <laughs> this. Anyway, um, would you care to come use the TV or something? Get your uh, fun need up? I don't know. Yeah, never long enough, right? If only we could have some aged down treats in real life. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, okay, so... You keep working on that, I guess. We already have the dresses all set up. Oh, I didn't fix Moss's outfit. Let me go back to that. Um, do you paper? I'm glad, I'm really glad. Yeah, I think that um, Snap is doing really well as well. Oh, she yeah. has Lorraine. kitten energy. So, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work as a wedding outfit. Oh my God. Can I wear it to the wedding? I'm being so serious. Can I wear it to the wedding? Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Please, 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 please. Yes, okay. <laughs> Um, they will wear this to the wedding. We're gonna wear a sparkly green suit. 
It just feels right. You can't beat perfection. Pickle suit? Oh my god. <laughs> Not the pickle suit. That's horrendous. <sighs> oh, okay. The lipstick dot dot dot? What? What is the problem with the lipstick? I like it. It's bright green. Listen, you gotta remember, right? We're playing the Not So Berry Challenge. When else, if not now, can you wear bright green lipstick and a green sparkly suit? Like, we have to remember that this is our time. What are you doing? We have to take the opportunities that are given to us. Like, <laughs> I don't really care if you wouldn't normally give your sim bright green lipstick. We're playing the green gen of Not So Berry. All right, let's make some tofu tacos, yeah? Why not? Where's the wedding? I haven't really decided on that yet for their wedding. Oh my God, Lincoln's calling, jeez. I guess I have to think about that too. Maybe, I mean, I can go. We can go try and place something down to see. You appreciate that my shirt is green? I put this on today, this morning. I said, oh my God, there's a stuff pack trailer coming out, green. Like green logos and icons for the stuff packs. And then we're playing the green gen of Not So Berry. Like today is the day of green in my Sims content. Like <laughs> I can make it more, hold on. Watch this. Hold on. You like that? <laughs> I can do more. <laughs> okay, um, I want to look at some of my own wedding venues that we have built. I do, honestly, I love the vineyard energy. The vineyard could be fun. That might actually already be placed down in Chestnut Ridge. Oh no, it's not. I believe it goes on this one. No one lives there, so. We can have a little vineyard wedding. And we, we uh, our family grew up in this world. So it's kind of fun. This was, the pink gen was out here. Um, so it's kind of a nice little touch, you know, go back to our roots. In honor of our dead mother, we'll have the wedding out where we grew up. <laughs> where our mother grew up, where she grew up. Sweet music, and TH, and vanilla, and lasagna, thank you for the subs. Um, yeah, Laura, I've been posting this on my second channel called More Simsy for a long time. There's a playlist on More Simsy with all of the not so berry stuff. We don't cut it down into like a 20 minute video for YouTube. I post the full stream on my second channel. Um, but this is the vineyard wedding venue in question, by the way. We have like a long table. Um, there's a pretty setup out here. This is not actually a wedding arch. Um, it's just a thingy, but it looks cute. So we have that there. They have a bar and then in the basement, we have like the actual vineyard stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, but that's it. There's not like a dance floor or anything. <laughs> it's not the best. It's very simple. We need to get a place that we can put. Oh, that's right. This is for the cake. Okay. Yeah, I wish that you could use this as a wedding arch because when I, I built this for a, a video or maybe I built it on stream, I can't remember. But when I built this, um, we were talking and it was like, you don't want to put a wedding arch in front of the arch. Like that's not, the vibes of that are just not good, you know? So do we just have them go stand there and like marry each other standing on the floor? We get like an extra one? <laughs> I don't know, maybe size it down. What, this one? Or do you mean size the wedding arch down? What happens if you do that? Do you want to test it? Oh. Yeah, Ravishing has an invisible arch mod. Um, Obviously, if you use mods, that's great, but I don't have any mods. Let me see, when, when we hide that, like, Elphaba's dress will probably cover it for the most part. And we'll mostly take screenshots up, 
you know, like of their faces. So please test it. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll have the wedding here tomorrow in game. So we'll be able to do that. Okay, going back to Enford on Bagley. I live out here, please. Thank you. All right. Taking having a small wedding to a whole new level. <laughs> That's funny. Good joke. Good joke. Yeah, well, the alternative is to have them just stand there and, and elope in front of the big arch. But if we can use the, the real one. That's all good. Is there a smaller one? Maybe it's easier to hide. My thought process with that green one is that maybe the green blends into the grass a bit easier. I don't know. Is today your one year wedding anniversary, Mimi? Well, happy anniversary. That's so exciting. Are you doing anything nice tonight? Are you gonna like cook a fancy dinner or something tonight? Um, what's the, what's the plan? Take a bath. Okay. Alphaba had a eureka moment. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Friday is your four year wedding anniversary. Oh, that's so exciting. That's pretty fun. Um, I'm happy for you. That's pretty cool. I think me and Dan are gonna try and do something special on our uh, negative one wedding anniversary when it comes up. It's not our real wedding anniversary because we have a real wedding anniversary in August, but we are planning like a wedding ceremony. So we're gonna try and do something special on our negative one anniversary, which is not yet, but <laughs> the negative one, yeah. <laughs> I think it'll be kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, would you like to... <sighs> I have to accept all invitations for outings in this generation. So this is my ex-boyfriend inviting me over to his house. So... <laughs> so... What if you get a call at your wedding? Oh my god, imagine someone calls us during the ceremony and invites us out. I hope not. I'm thinking... While we're here, this could be a good opportunity. So this is our ex-boyfriend. Is the younger sibling here? That's Tony. Okay, well, Algie, I think, has moved on. Algie's not interested in dating Tony anymore. Algie, I don't think, wants to date anyone. However, Pickle is still here. <laughs> so we could still pursue the relationship. Maybe we've been called over here by our ex-boyfriend so we could set our brothers up. You ever thought about that? Maybe that's the the real truth behind this invitation deep down. Isn't Tony dating Rochella? Um, you know, Rochella, I would say, is dating a person called Tony. Um, Rochella is, in fact, married to a person called Tony <laughs> in real life, but you can say they're dating. I think that counts. Sometimes I, I call Dan my boyfriend to him and then he gets mad. Not actually mad, joking. So, he says, boyfriend? You don't have a boyfriend. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's have the support Tony's body hair. Discuss fitness techniques. Oh, isn't Tony evil? Oh dear. I think I remember that from last time. Start calling him my ex-boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> you know Dan, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Pickle has a major crush on Tony. I had this pop up yesterday. I, I uh, posted my legacy challenge on YouTube yesterday. If you don't watch it, I'll give you a little brief rundown. In that legacy, my legacy heir was dating someone in high school. We officially started dating them. Like they became our boyfriend. But then I realized that I wanted to date someone else. I hadn't done it yet, but I just had in my head, oh my God, this person's better for us. So I'm gonna dump my boyfriend and date them instead. But I still became like official with this person, literally. The second I did that, imagine it's like right now, I'm talking to Tony. 
The other guy's right here. We became... Now he's my boyfriend. He's right there. I get a pop-up about a crush on this guy. At the same time, I get a boyfriend. I've got a crush on somebody else. Like, instantaneous. <laughs> it was so funny. I've never had that happen before. I wasn't even flirting. Like, these two, they're not flirting. They're just talking. And we have a crush, but... So I didn't even do anything. I wasn't trying to cheat. But... I know, when the game, like, does something that kind of works for your little pretend storyline, you know? Like, we had a storyline kind of figured out, and then the game just, like, rolled right with it. <laughs> Don't let your boyfriend get in the way of finding your husband. <laughs> exactly. You understand. Yeah, the pop-up, the crush thing is from high school years. It's part of high school years. Well, they're actually getting along quite well. Okay. Give romantic gift. You want my private journal? No. <laughs> oh my god. Your sim got a crush on her girlfriend's mom? <gasps> no, that's not right. Pickle can like pessimistic sims. Okay. Pizza Party Princess, thanks for the 20 months. <laughs> and Dory and Bernie and Straw, uh, Aaliyah and Purple and Carla, thank you so much. Uh-oh, Lexington, a horse has been adopted. That means the horse's family's dead. That's unfortunate. Your sim married her husband's brother? Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, well, congrats on your new relationship, you two. Well, beach. Hope you love it. Okay, that's enough. I can go home now. When your uncle is your stepdad. <laughs> that is that is rough, Shella. That is rough. Could you imagine your own sibling like getting married to your ex or like dating them while you're still married to them? Like you have an affair with your 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 brother having an affair with your wife? That's messed up, Shella. I can't believe you're encouraging that. This is what you choose to use your platform to support? Cheating? Wow. My sims are messy! <laughs> yeah. I get it. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Things started getting messy in your save since you started not so very. I think it's fun when chaotic things happen. I don't know. It's like nobody's actually getting hurt by this. It's pretend. They're like our little dolls. So you can make them do bad things. It's fun to have evil sims. Like, I think it's it's really fun to play with a sim who is bad. Like, you, you can have your sim do horrible things and cheat on people and, you know, kill people and stuff. It's just a sim. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, channel surf, yeah? And then you... Your fun's quite low, too. Maybe you and Moss could woohoo so we could fix your fun needs. Yeah? Okay. Oh, there you go. In this case, these two are never gonna have anything bad happen in their relationship. That is my plan. Um, did you miss Moss's wedding? No, you didn't. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. I'm actually going to plan it right now. Um, but the wedding is going to be, oh, big summer blowout. Oh, dear. We're in the middle of woohoo. And our dad's inviting us out to duel. I gotta be honest, I'm kind of open to accepting this call. I can't believe she answered the phone. Like, weren't you busy? <laughs> Sally and Molly, thank you for the subs. Um, well, <laughs> just got in, what did you miss? Oh. Um, we were busy, but then our dad called and invited us to duel, so now we're going out. Uh, 
clearly not that busy. But you know. Okay, well they're gonna go duel on their own. They have a little... They run through the building and out to the back. Here we go, here we go. Our dad is like a mega spellcaster or something though, so we're probably gonna lose. But that's okay. We'll find out. Cute! Oh, dead. Not cute. Not cute. Not cute. Well, while you're here, ask for autograph. That's my dad. <laughs> I was gonna say, while you're here, um, maybe you could talk to some of the like magic powers people. Cause I wanna try and get some like stuff from them. I'll see if you can teach me some mischief magic. Well, some people intentionally choose to spend their wedding night apart from their partner. So we could stay here on purpose. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, Jewel, we renovated this one, um, I don't know, it was like a few months ago that we rebuilt this lot. I can't remember exactly when, but this is my renovation, yeah. Okay. I got a new potion. I learned Furio. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Um, what am I going to New York for? I'm gonna visit my friend, um, my friend Hope. You might, if you're here on my streams a lot, you might know uh, Goose Kingdom. My friend Hope lives in New York. Okay. Would you like to ask to teach practical magic? And ask to teach me a potion recipe? Hope is Goose. Transportalate! Oh my god. That's the one where you can um, teleport, right? Move instantly to another location regardless of distance. Oh my god. Life just got way better. <laughs> that just makes everything easy all of a sudden. Uh, New York City. In New York City, Adrian. Um, that's where she lives. Did you teach me my potion or not? Yeah, you must have. Okay, I'm looking for the one that's mischief now. Let me know if you see anybody else with like a little glowing thing over their head. Oh dear god. Why do I do stuff like that? I'm not really um, seeing anybody out here. Um... Okay, let's just go back. Oh no, I was gonna stay here, wasn't I? I literally just said that. No, we can sleep here. We'll sleep here, cause we're gonna um, stay apart from our partner on purpose for the wedding night. Yeah? All right, let me plan the wedding ceremony then. Add wedding event, wedding ceremony. Don't have any Sims of Honor. We can invite our parents, our sibling. These are all the magic people. We can bring Algie and James, Lincoln, Pickle, our ex, Oscar. Oh, Pesto and Slime are our younger siblings. Tony can come. And then it will be, we'll have a cut cake. No, don't walk down the aisle, that's bad. Cut cake, spousal kiss, dancing, vows. Um, and then it's gonna be in... Hello? Chestnut Ridge, okay. Um. Any ideas as to why the wedding venue that I placed isn't Yeah, it's set as a wedding venue. I placed it with the... I like placed it as the lot it is on the gallery. 
I don't know. I think it's a bug. I think it's a bug too. It needs to have a wedding arch. Oh, it does have, no, it has a wedding arch. I placed a wedding arch down. I know for a fact it's a wedding venue because you can see the, see? And we put the wedding arch down. I don't, I, I don't think that it's my fault with that one. Um, I think it's just a known problem. Maybe I'll make it into like a lounge or something and see if that works. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I don't need to plan the wedding. It's fine. Usually the lounges work pretty well. The only problem is that for it to be a lounge, we need, oh, you need love seats. That's just ridiculous. Put those out there. And I guess we can get a microphone, like, maybe someone can sing for the wedding. All right. <laughs> Go full fight for Carly, thank you for the subs. It works if I change it back to wedding venue now, really? I'll, look, I'm just gonna leave it a lounge. Lounges usually work. So. You can put wedding venue ahead of res as residential. No, it was a wedding venue. It was a wedding venue. Um, we had it set correctly. <laughs> it was correct. Um, I promise, but it's fine. It works fine. Um, I did notice that you can summon Grim in the new pack. Yes, um, I did notice that. Um, I think, just so you know, friend, you don't have to like copy and paste the same thing over and over again, by the way. I don't want anybody to get in trouble. Um, the mods don't like it when you spam the same thing, copy pasted. I know you don't mean any harm. It's just good to keep in mind, you know? <laughs> um, you're welcome to ask questions, but no, please to everyone, try not to copy paste, you know? Um, it kind of like fills up the chat and it's sad because then, you know, you miss people's other messages. What new pack? Oh, the, they announced a stuff pack today. We got a trailer today for a new stuff pack, Supreme. Um, it's, it's like, uh, jewelry making themed. So, can I show how to do relationship cheats? <laughs> um, so here's what I do. I use a mod. If you want to do a relationship cheat without a mod, modify relationship, and then you pick the name of a sim. So here's Elphaba. You put their first and last name. Then you pick another sim. So maybe I'll pick like Pickle, our, our almost brother-in-law, okay? Then you put their name, Pickle Pots. Um, and then it's friendship underscore main 100, I believe. No, I did it wrong. It's not friendship main. What is the friendship cheat again? It's something like that though, something complicated. No need to be that complicated. Um, oh, you have to do LTR. Look at this, this is the ridiculous cheat. And the number goes first. Anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google. Google, you wanna copy paste this one. Yeah, there you go. And you used to have to, I don't know if you have to do it this way still, but you used to have to do it uh, both directions. So you'd have to do like alphabet first and then do pickle first. Um, which I think you still have to do, because that's like a one-sided thing, if you do it that way. So you have to like post it with the names on, in both order. Um, so that's why sometimes if you're able to use mods, things like UI sheets are easier for cheating relationships. Um, but you can also, um, you can also use, the, I don't know if you've got like social bunny from high school years, that can help. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, if you're ever having questions about cheats, it's easier to Google and then copy paste them a lot of the time because some of them are kind of complicated, if I do say so. Okay. Well, being here is terrible. I probably should have stayed at home. I just thought like, oh, we could stay apart for the wedding, but 
I also don't really want to replan the wedding, to be honest. Now I'm like mad at wedding stories. I don't want to do it. I'd rather just host it in the morning. I was going to try to avoid doing it, but chat wants me to, so I guess we can. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm frustrated with, uh, <laughs> we can bring Santa. How about that? Okay. Um, cut cake, exchange vows. Kiss first dance. All right. Well, see, now it's a lounge it shows up. Let's do it in the morning. 10 a.m.? There you go. Um, yeah, they had another baby, Christine. That was a while ago. She, I think she showed up as a child. But we have a new sister, yeah. Who is now a teen. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Neighborhood stories is kind of funny. <laughs> Valkyrie, Danielle, thank you for the subs. Um, anyway, as someone who got married at 10 a.m., I agree. Yeah, it's a nice time. It's a nice time. Okay. Imagine telling your future kids that Santa was at your wedding. See? That's good stuff. Um, okay. Come on. Doing cheats on console is a pain. Yeah, it's, a, it's rough. Well, any of the controls on console are, are quite a pain, I feel like. And I'm really sorry for that one. Oh, I need to buy... There should be a computer. I think I gave them, like, the little fake typewriters. I might see about you trying to purchase... I want a wedding cake. Sorry. Oh my god, how much am I going to yawn? Oh, can I not do it? Oh. Oh, you can't go to work today. Don't be ridiculous. Um, order, purchase wedding cake. That one worked that time. Should it be green? Whatever cake comes in a good green color, that'll be the one. See this square green one could be good. That one's beachy, which isn't really my vibes. Maybe I'll go for the green with the squares. I think so. Okay. Well, Alphaba, has anybody made any mac and cheese for you to eat, perhaps? Also, while you're here, can you get me a potion recipe? Just perhaps? Do I have a needs potion? Potion of plentiful needs. We could drink that this morning. What do we get from that one? Forced friendship! Oh, we were just talking about stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I bought a cake through the computer. You can order a wedding cake in the computer. Which... <sighs> Am I being so silly? I don't see it in my inventory. Huh. What lot this is? This is the, the secret magic realm lot. Um, in the Roll of Magic pack. I've- I've built a new one though, so it's not the default lot, but it's the default location. No, the cake through the computer is specifically a wedding cake thing with the wedding- with the wedding pack. Um, it's from the wedding stories pack. You can't just do it without wedding stories, so you can't like buy a birthday cake. You can only buy the wedding cakes. <laughs> it was in your inventory five minutes ago? Yeah, I swear it was there! Why is it gone now? That's the wrong one. Which one did I have? Square design. Please don't disappear this time. Moss, you actually can't go to work. You can't. You can't. Career, take vacation day. Working on your wedding day. Don't be ridiculous, Moss. Yeah, this person's on the gallery. Um, I built it like six months ago or something. I can't remember exactly how long ago. Um, but yes, it is on the gallery. Is it on the desk? No, it goes in your inventory. That's always how it works. Oh, now the first one's back again. Oh, maybe it was there the whole time. Maybe I was just being silly. And it's possible that it was a user error problem. Um, but I'll keep complaining. It's fine. 
Now I have two cakes. Potion of emotional stability. Um, <laughs> that one uh, hits a little close to home, actually. <laughs> wow. Okay, Moss, are you mostly ready? You could probably come take a shower while you're here. Uh, T Jack, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. The Sims will eat neither cake at the wedding. Exactly. And they'll get no use out of any of it. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I'll just triple speed till it becomes time to go. Um. Yeah, it is, ML. It's really annoying with the resubs with Prime. Um, it's uh, very specific when it allows you to resub. It, sometimes you think that it's going to be like, you know, you, it's going to be today, but actually it makes your, it, your sub expires and then you have to wait and wait and wait and wait until it's like the right hour. It's really annoying. I know. It's not just you who has that problem. Don't worry. Um, okay. So we're showing up. We'll get dressed. I'm gonna need to change moss because their default formal wear is not the right one. Um, and then, oh my god, we all look really good actually. Look at our sibling! Wow, you look good. MC command center, MC dresser. Okay, let's change into our formal, into the correct formal. See, like moss, this is not the green sparkly suit of our dreams. That is not what we picked. Um, there we go. Now that's a wedding look. <laughs> okay, so put the cake down. Maybe when, since we just got here, maybe you could come serve. Well, honestly, just serve an assortment, okay? We'll get that ready. Um, okay. Peachy, I didn't realize people were gonna be this mad that I didn't say it out loud. I, <laughs> people all day in the stream, nonstop. How did you miss this? What's wrong with you? Why didn't you say it in the video? Didn't you know? Didn't you know? Did you know about the Grim Reaper? Did you know about the Grim Reaper? <laughs> <laughs> it's we know that you can summon the Grim Reaper. We did we did catch on <laughs> Literally all day all day. I understand but you gotta keep in mind also that like with the trailer reactions I try to record these things really quickly and then post them really quickly um, So sometimes there's like a thing that you maybe missed because you're not like You know studying it and writing a script um, like you would for a review um, But anyway, I Wanted to get it out, <laughs> and I didn't tell Dan to like let me hear. I wasn't like, I'm not gonna add an extra bit in. Like, I'm not gonna record an extra thing. I'll just post the video. Truthfully, the reason is because I found out my parents' dog has cancer. <laughs> That's why I didn't record an extra part. This morning was rough, um, but it's okay. <laughs> just because you don't address every little part of the video, it's okay. It doesn't matter. I did see it though, so don't need to panic. It's okay. Um, it's okay. <laughs> But now every time someone brings it up, I'm like, oh, I like die a little bit inside. I'm like embarrassed. I should have just added a part. I should have just like, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Um, except for Captain. He's not fine. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> let's just have the wedding ceremony now. We'll get it over with. Um, exchange vows and kiss, perhaps, shall we? He still has it. Oh no, he, well, he ha so, okay, I'll talk about it again. Um, he had his, he had his toe amputated because of the cancer, um, and we were doing a lot of testing to find out, like, how bad is it? How bad did it spread? What's the situation? The situation is bad. We learned that today, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> Try not to think about it too much. I know I brought it up. It's hard to not think about it. It keeps coming into my head, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, Lime and Gal and Sim Dude, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Yeah, they're excited to tell me. I get it. I get it. Um, and Paris thinking of leaving soon due to inadequate care. Huh? My goats have been disappeared for, like, weeks in-game. Um, 
You look like I'm going to cry. I kind of am, actually. I'm trying to think about it. <laughs> don't bring it up anymore. <laughs> Maybe that was the lost goat. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, people are just excited and also like upset that I didn't talk about it because it's exciting and I didn't mention it. So anyway, um, it does not matter. All is well. We'll talk about it in the review. Um, so you are not the person who's trying to get married. Donkey's thinking of leaving soon. That These are the goats that disappeared, like, weeks ago. Why? Oh, now it worked. Okay. That's so strange. Alright, well, we can get some pretty screenshots with this huge archway. Kind of excited about it. Maybe they ran home to Chestnut Ridge. Um... But, I don't know. Did I... They're actually standing in like... Oh no, that's because I put that there. I forgot! <laughs> I was like, they're standing in the exact right place. I forgot I put this there. This is not a wedding arch. This is just decorative from Horse Ranch. That is the wedding arch. Um, I was like, wow, they're standing in the right spot. Yeah, because you put the fake wedding arch down, Kayla. That would be why. Hey, get your rings. Get your rings. I made the real arch tiny, so it wouldn't be so distracting. Oh, that was a boring kiss. Ah. Boo. Well, congrats on your wedding. <laughs> I saw someone just then also ask how I hid the plum bob so quickly. Um, the plum bob is on top of the Sims head that you're clicked on. So I'm right now I'm on algae. It's above algae's head. I'm on moss. It's above moss's head. You can press space to flip through the sims in your household. So if you don't want a plumb bob in your screenshot, you can press the space bar and like move it off of those sims and onto somebody else. So that's kind of how it works. It's uh, obviously you can use the headline effects cheat. You can like hide headline effects or whatever. Headline effects off is the cheat in the sims 4. Um, but it's, you know, if you just want to, if you have extra sims, um, you can just press the space bar and click off of them. So, pro tip, if you will. All right, let's come cut the wedding cake, shall we? Oh no, select a cake topper. Let's put the cow plant cake topper on it. Okay, and then cut the cake with alphaba. Let's see if it works this time. Yeah, so I didn't like hide it. I just moved the plumb off, <laughs> uh, but it was mostly out of the way. So it works out. You know what? I'm glad that our dad could come, genuinely. That's our uncle. The family's all here. It's nice. Are you gonna cut it for real? Wow, it actually worked. The cake cutting worked. That sim looks mean. Like we're being judged right now. <gasps> you walked right through the knife. Oh, she said, I want a piece of cake. <laughs> and I will I will be having the piece of cake immediately. <laughs> um, okay, so... I think... Um... One sec. I think, I think, I think also that, oh, that's Carp. That's one of the Sims that's like the special magical powers people. Oh, look, everybody getting their food. That's good. <laughs> I like that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I think that, one second also, let me talk to the mods really fast. Um, all right, let me just check on something really quickly. Um, oh no. All right, there we go. Problem solved. Sorry. This is my best wedding yet. Yeah, because something actually worked. <laughs> Things actually went okay. Um, well, they, it didn't count as cutting the cake. This is what I don't understand about this game. Like, we did cut the cake. I'm gonna cross it off. You can't? Oh my god. Alpha, Bud, and Aubrey can be jokesters. I don't know. 
Um, the bar is still on the wedding being successful. It's like the the wedding just having something work. It's like wow, it was the perfect wedding. It was so successful. Everything went great. I don't really care to do anything else to be honest. I feel like I got what I needed to. Maybe I'll get some cameras. Um, because we want to take some wedding photos. Maybe I'll get like a tripod and a camera. Um. And then we can take a couple wedding photos quick while we're here. All right, take a picture with Moss. Just a couple of them, please. As long as we have like one wedding photo, I'll be happy. We don't need a lot, just something. Just something will do. Um, okay. Hurry up, Moss. No? No, Moss is tending the bar. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Sometimes it takes a while. You know, you always say, oh, it was a successful, a successful wedding. It wasn't. Oh, now the cake cut thing says it worked. I don't know. Don't triple speed. See if that helps it. Just one time speed. And just so you all know, Moss uses they, them pronouns. Um... Well, that's just moss. <laughs> I wanted... <laughs> I wanted a couple photo. Oh, here we go. Can I ask why you are posing like that? What's going on with your hands? Oh my god. It's just like, nothing ever goes right, you know? I feel like... Um, again? You know what, that's okay, I'll just let it be. Moss can have weird things in their hands. That'll- that'll be the final photos. I'm going home now. I've had enough. I have had enough. <laughs> Let's just go back. Let's just go back. Um... Alright, and then... Maybe... I live in- where do I live? Henford on Bagley. Jeez. Okay. Is there a mod global that's in Discord? Emily, you gotta open a ticket for that one. <laughs> The mods are all in the Discord, um, but you if you have a question about the Discord, you can open a ticket. Um, that's how people can see it, so. All right. Now I feel scared. <laughs> Anytime I'm like, did something happen? No, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, let's go back home. We can hang up the new wedding photos. We can hang up like the marriage certificate, um, get all that stuff. What does opening a ticket mean? Um, in the Discord server, we have like a contact mods button. If you press it, it opens a ticket, which is actually just a channel that is just you and the mods um, and me so that we can help you with a, whatever problem it might be. Maybe like a question. Maybe you're reporting something in the Discord, whatever it might be. Um, if you're in the server, it's very clear. <laughs> it's at the top, it says contact mods. But if you're not, maybe it's confusing sounding. Okay, so we have the marriage certificates from our previous family. Um, maybe I will size theirs down. That was like our mom and stuff, so we can put ours next to it. Get like a little bit of a gallery wall going. If you will. Gallery wall of marriage certificates. And then maybe in our bedroom, it might be kind of cute if we hung up some wedding photos. I feel like maybe I'll get, um, I think I need to bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. Oops, bb.ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement. There we go. Um, so. Oh, 
That's a vertical photo though, Moss. So I guess maybe that could go on here. That's just a picture of Moss though. That's when we got engaged, but the photos were being kind of weird. So I took a photo of just Moss. <laughs> Like, happy engagement. Here's a picture of just you. <laughs> I think it was good. Oh, these are not- that's not enough. Okay, well, we'll get some more photos of them that we can put there. And maybe... Wow, we really actually don't have that much space. Are these the medium ones? Yeah, let's put these wedding photos up. Get, like, that one on this wall. Yeah? Why not? Um, so, maybe you come use the bathroom. Welcome home, everybody. You can all come home now, please. Everybody come home. Do I have any pulp photos around? Oh, we have a lot of pulp photos. Um, pulp's been around for a while, so we have a, quite the collection of photos. We can get some more. We can get some more. Oh, that's broken from the fire. My bad. Okay, what if we had them try for a baby now? I don't think- I, well, should we do a honeymoon? I hadn't really thought about that. You have work in 16 hours. You don't have work. We could take the days off. Is that a dead sim in the photo? Yeah, it is. Let's go on a honeymoon now. Why not? Don't bring your siblings. They can stay home with the pets. I think honeymoon's a good idea. Um, okay, so perhaps we go, did I just press travel instead of take a vacation? No, I pressed vacation, okay. Um, where would be best? We could go to Selva Dorada, I haven't been there in a while, to the jungle adventure world. This could be kind of fun. And you know what? It's kind of mossy. Okay. We'll do it just for a day. I don't really care to be gone for that long. Um. Um. One sec. All right, so I think that I want to go now that we're here. Oh my god, look at the combination of the outfits. <laughs> we in a wedding dress, moss in this. No notes, no notes. That's perfect. Okay, so I think step one probably should be for us to come down this way. We can go visit the bar and then maybe get a drink, buy some food, buy some supplies. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Westy, Jelly Bean, Blue, thank you for the subs. Um, I type really fast. I do type fast, and I think it sounds worse on stream because the mic is like, you know, right in front of the keyboard, sort of. It's, I mean, it's hanging up, but you're like getting some solid keyboard being picked up by the mic. So it sounds more like, people always say it sounds aggressive. I'm just typing. <laughs> it's not meant to be. It doesn't sound aggressive to me, but... Um, Okay, so order food. Let's have them both get something. We may as well. Oh, we could get some more pictures here too. That's good. Sounds like I am typing that I am annoyed. See, this is why it makes me so anxious <laughs> when this happens because I'm not annoyed. I'm not typing that I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm dealing with something privately um, and everybody saying stuff like that. It's just a keyboard. It's just a keyboard. The like reading into it and being like, she sounds mad. She sounds annoyed. But I'm just typing. <laughs> I'm just typing. I'll message Dan and be like, what's for dinner tonight? And chat's like, ooh, she's in a bad mood. Do you hear how like aggressive the typing is? <laughs> That's just how I type. <laughs> It's just typing. It's clicky and it's loud because the mic's picking it up, but it's not that bad, okay? Um, I type quick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's have them like flirt or something. I don't know. Enthuse about meal. 
propose a scheme, kiss, um, make out, great. Okay. Oh, we got promoted. That's also good, because we- Oh, Moss got promoted on their day off. I figured it was going to be algae. <laughs> Moss took the day off for their wedding. They got promoted. <laughs> hey, that is completely fine by me. <laughs> I am not going to complain about that one at all. All right. Well, we finally finished eating, and now this stuff is, like, spawned. I think we should each get a machete. And then maybe... We could each buy like a shower in a can. This might be cute to have a basket too. Um, you can buy a waterfall in a bottle. Let's just have everybody buy one of each. Yeah. It's a lot of money, but. Lots of machetes. And when you say that, it sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, some people buy keyboards just because they like how they sound when you type. Um, but anyway. Okay, so. Would you care to maybe use the bathroom before we go? Both of you? Take a pregnancy test. Oh my god, I forgot we have risky woohoo. I always have risky woohoo on, so I don't know why I say that, but we're not pregnant. I was gonna say, we can't be going into the jungle if we're pregnant. <laughs> we can't be like bringing a machete, wielding a machete into the jungle and climbing through the <laughs> all the chaos out there if we're having a baby. <laughs> Doesn't seem safe. But... Do you leave? Yeah, I, I love a I love a nice clicky keyboard. Um, this keyboard is relatively new. This one that I've been using. Um, I always forget the name of her. Hold on. This is the Logitech G815 Tactile. Is the one that I've been using recently. Looks like this. Um, I like her though. And it's like white and silver, which I think is kind of pretty. Um, okay, let's come out here. On the contrary, pregnant sims can't die. That's true. Pregnant sims are invincible. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for the sub, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. I think that... Um, we'll go here. I don't have any other supplies, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I say we just go for it. Maybe you clear the path with your machete, because you're the one who's, who's safe. Um... Logitech has legendarily good support. You love them. Do they for you? I'm really glad you've had good experiences with Logitech. I have had a lot of good experiences with Logitech, so... <laughs> um, I think they are great. Both, uh, personally, professionally, and, like, product-wise. <laughs> so... Um, I'm a- I'm a big fan. I'm glad you've had a good experience. Um... Okay. Well, we got through. You travel through, too. Go! Oh, you can't yet. Okay, we'll just have one. Elphaba is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when she suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. She sprints in the direction of screaming and finds a sim that is being menaced by a carnivorous plant. <sighs> Grab the sim and run. The poor menace sim seems to be frozen in fear. Alphaba jumps in, grabs the sim's hand, and starts to run. After a short sprint, they both slip at the same time and slide down a muddy slope. They are both relieved to escape the plant, but they're both completely filthy. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> well, that can't be good. <laughs> that cannot be good. Um, all right. Let me through. Travel to prom with Pickle. Oh, I'm sorry, Pickle. I won't be going. All right, here we are. Um, Moss, you come this way. Sorry, I was triple speeding. I forgot I had to just click on this sim. I'm like, not used to coming here with two sims. Usually I come with just one. I thought we were going to the beach. <laughs> I mean, the beach would have probably been a better honeymoon, but here we are. We could woohoo in this bush. What if we tried for a baby in this bush? What do you think about that? You know, while we're out here? <laughs> I think that could be fun. Well, we'll get a move on then so we can do some like collectibles. 
All right, I guess I won't take a pregnancy test until we get back to the house tonight, though. We'll hold off on that one. Am I getting attacked by bugs? Yikes. My actual worst nightmare. Okay. Well, Moss is still trying to clear that with the machete, so I guess we'll wait. What did I just find there? Artifact-shaped dirt clump? Oh, I've got all this spoiled food in my inventory. I meant to leave that at home. I was gonna put it in the fridge. That's why I brought it with me and then I forgot to, which is very foolish. Um, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. All right, well, moss. Jaguar by the lake, it looks like shrimp. While trekking through the jungle, Moss stumbles upon a jaguar that seems to be stalking something at the edge of a lake. Should they sneak away or observe the jaguar's actions? Sneak away. The hunting jaguar makes Moss nervous, so they decide to sneak away quietly. They is so occupied with... <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are so occupied with keeping an eye on the jaguar's movements that they, that they fails to notice that they walks right into a cave. Thank you to The Sims 4 uh, and it's perfectly grammatically correct uh, pop-ups. I know, it sucks, it sucks. With the custom pronouns and the they, they, them pronouns, things get a little bit weird sometimes. It's not all the time, it's sometimes, um, but there's still some like mishaps. <laughs> so a bunch of bats swarm moss, which is very unpleasant, very unpleasant. All right, come this way. Are you getting got by bugs again? Oh no! Wait, I was gonna try for a baby in the bush. Well, that is just really bad, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, um, <laughs> there's something in the air, and that something is a whole bunch of lightning bugs. As they make their way for Alphaba, she wishes she had a lightning insulation powder, or maybe learned a bit more about how the locals handle these insects. Instead, it looks like a shocking experience is in store for Alphaba. We're having quite the honeymoon. Things are going really well. Yeah, we gotta get pregnant so she doesn't die. <laughs> it's like quick woohoo so she won't die from anything. <laughs> Okay, I... Should I check or no? A swarm of bees is descending on moss? Oh my god. A lot of way. Now remove cranking. Um... You know, in hindsight, like... Maybe we shouldn't have bothered with coming out here on the honeymoon. You know? <laughs> um, that's a good question. So if you want to have uh, two Sims try for a baby, um, no matter like what, if they, obviously you have to have like a masculine frame Sims and a fem feminine frame Sim to have a baby without any mods or anything or cheats or whatever. Um, but very easily in cast, what I like to do, um, if I wanna have like a couple try for a baby um, and like have an actual pregnancy, cause my thought process is anybody can get pregnant with anybody in the Sims, it's got magic powers. Usually I'll go in and just make it so one of the Sims is set to get the other pregnant. And you can even like go, like if you wanted to have like two kids, you could do it, you know, alternating or whatever. Um, and that way it's easier um, and then anybody can have a kid with anybody. Um, you can pretend it's like IVF or something. There's also the science baby stuff, but then you don't have a pregnancy. You just have like a magic baby insta-born. Um, you can also, using mods, you can like override the pregnancy settings with MC Command Center. But I find it's a little bit easier to just, cause just in the game, in CAS, you can set if they can get a sim pregnant. So it's really easy to just set it and then have anybody have kids with anyone. But I feel like The Sims has magical science powers, so anyone can have a kid with anybody. It's kind of my thought process. <laughs> um, I think it's fun. You went to Disney World for your honeymoon. It was a lot different from this. <laughs> you mean you didn't get stung by lightning bugs and electrocuted on your honeymoon? I thought that happened to everybody. <laughs> yeah, the science baby 
baby thing is fun and useful, but not everybody wants to skip the pregnancy, you know? Um, like, not everybody wants that. You might want to have the pregnancy experience, so it's good to have both. Um, I think, both options. Um, the worst thing that happened was you turned your ankle running to a Disney Resort bus. <laughs> it's happened to the best of us. You haven't really been to Disney until you've been struck by lightning, apparently, is what uh, the chat say. <laughs> Moss pulls back a curtain of vines and discovers a strange clearing in the jungle. There's a pedestal with a relic on top, surrounded by a circle of totems. The totems' faces are fixed in a permanent snarl that strikes fear in Moss's heart. Should they turn back or check out the totems? Ah, uh, let's just check them out. Moss inspects the totems, trying to come up with an overly complicated plan to remove the relic using household items. Unfortunately, they isn't too careful about it, and accidentally tr triggers a poison- poison dart- dart- oh my, I can't talk. I got poisoned?! Oh my god! <laughs> Moss is gonna die! <laughs> Oh look, unsatisfied from mediocre woohoo, stings, bees, feeling icky from poison dart. At least it's green, you're right, it like kind of matches the aesthetic. You're so right with that. Moss, you look good in green. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, we got some good stuff in there. Dr. Parker spider repellent, fire foam. Okay. In the treasure chest. I don't think that Moss is really having the best time on their honeymoon. I feel like they're not really loving this trip. Um, and I get it. Oh, ghost onions, thank you for the sub gift to Tiltify. That is so generous. Thank you so much. Um, Moss having a green disease is kind of iconic. I know, right? Like, if anybody's gonna get the green disease, Maybe it should be moss. Oh, you want to go back so you can pee? That's fine. As soon as you get these gems, I want to grab the gemstones because we're going to have Alphaba use the new, like, the thingy. Um, so it's good to get these while we're here, I feel like. We got a couple, a metal and a, and a crystal. That's good. All right, let's go, to, let's just go back to the house tonight. We don't need to camp outside. Like, we can just go back to the vacation rental. Is one of our distant cousins on vacation here? Huh. <laughs> well, that's fun and good, I guess. Um, okay. Um, so... I guess we could load in and then Alphaba's not even really tired. Oh, let's take a pregnancy test first. That's step one. <laughs> Eating for two. We are pregnant. <laughs> is it 50-50 the baby has green skin? Yeah, it is. I am um, I don't know if I really want the baby to have green skin. I'm thinking that we could either just like swap it so that they look like moss. Um, or we can make them blue, because it's the blue gen. I don't really have a, a final preference yet. Um, it kind of depends. But, uh, we're having the blue gen baby. But they're not gonna be green. I'll tell you that much for sure. Because they're, they're the blue gen, they can't be green. Terrible. Makes no sense. Um. Alright, go to sleep after this, yeah? Moss, get it together. Check just in case you got triplets. No, I don't think we did. And I, I won't check. I like to be surprised, so we'll probably wait. Does Moss have the jungle illness? Oh, sure does. Sure does. Yeah, we're not doing very well right now. Um, the Look, I'll show you. Oh, come back. The icky feeling could either go away on its own or get worse. Only time will tell. Maybe acquiring an antidote will be safest. So, can you die from that? Yeah. Yeah, you sure can. I'm not gonna let them die, don't worry. No one's gonna die. Moss can't die. Um, okay, so, 
after this, I think we'll go out and get breakfast in town. Yeah, and we'll have to move algae out once we get back from the honeymoon because we're going to need a space for the baby. Um, well, we have an heir technically. No, <laughs> I'm not going to just kill Moss. I love Moss. I don't want Moss to leave us. I'd let Elphaba die, but I wouldn't let Moss die. I, sorry, not right now. I mean like in the future, not yet. I want to have more kids first, but I wouldn't let Moss die. I already had an heir die. It has to be someone else. Not now, I mean like if something chaotic happened, like say Elphaba got the rat disease, you know, in a while after we already had a couple kids, then maybe I'd let Elphaba die, but not yet. Later. All right, let's get some food. Everybody's hungry. Um, I don't know. Get some things, excellent, delicious. Um. Okay, so, would you care to, well, they finished eating that actually really quickly, surprisingly. I want to get another one of these baskets. Oh, now there's like food and stuff here. That's so annoying. Now they're selling way better stuff. Maybe I could buy some more things, like for the future, you know? There's some pretty good stuff out here. No one's like operating this one. Buy more. We might come back, you know? So we'll want to have some extra things. Huh. You want to get a couple more of these waterfall in a bottle? I don't know. What should we do? with the rest of our time. It's like so not exciting inside of this room. Like, look at all this. Um, oh, we are gonna take photos. Oh, 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 a photo of Moss with the, like, the poison is good. We could also use the archeology span table a little bit, but this'll be perfect. Um, okay, so after that, maybe we will have you just come over here and do this. Moss does not own this item. Uncover artifact. We've got one that we can do it on. I think that we have to go home at like 3 p.m. as well. I think that's when our vacation technically ends. So... Oh, we are stinking up the room. Uh oh. Um, just a reminder again that uh, Moss uses they them pronouns. Um, they are currently poisoned, so they've got green dots on their face. Um, and that's, you know, all important things to consider. <laughs> Thought the green things on Moss's face were a pimple patch? That would be fun if they gave us pimple patches. I actually wouldn't be mad about that. Anyway. Um, yeah, Moss, again, they, them pronouns, just so you all know. <laughs> Your favorite thing is when I say a sim is stinking up the place. Do I say that a lot? Oh, no! Moss wasn't able to fight off the poisoning and it has progressed and gotten worse. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to kill my sim by accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll go to the- I'm gonna use a computer. I'll get some- I just gotta get Elphaba to finish this. Let Elphaba finish and then we'll go find some. This icon as well. That's so, so chaotic in like a really scary way. Oh my goodness. Joel has asked you on a date, go for it. Okay, well, whatever. Well, I'm just gonna go get the stuff. We can't have Moss die. I can research here, yes. I wanna use the computer at this place. That's how I normally do it. But don't let Elphaba become a single parent. I can't have that. I cannot have that. Um, 
we I just I need to actually play with moss and finish everything with moss so um don't you buy it at the market the antidote I don't believe so I think you can get it on the computer much like you can with everything else um you have to leave very inconvenient can also ask a local oh well I'm already here this is usually how I do it. Um, web, no, purchase antidote. Oh, well that's easy. We've got enough money. This is faster, so. I've got it, the problem is solved. You chug the antidote, Moss. Drink it quick. Oh, oh my. I'm saved! <laughs> oh, okay, that was actually really scary. If Moss would die, we should have to restart the whole challenge. No, no. Um, so people ask me this a lot. Like, what do you do if someone dies and you um, you don't finish, like, the generation or, you know, whatever? Um, sort of my thought process on this is that it's supposed to be fun. So, like, if you wanted to, I guess technically, maybe if the Sim had a sibling, you could use them as, like, the heir and then finish it with them instead. You could try and bring them back to life. You could just call it a wash and not do it and just move on to the next generation. Like, I I think personally that it's not that deep if you don't finish all the rolls. It's like, oh, the next gen started. And I'm the one who wrote it. But it's kind of up to you and what you feel like you are interested in doing and what feels fair to you or, you know, whatever. Um, I don't think there's really, like, a hard and fast rule. I don't think. I know there isn't one, because I wrote it. <laughs> you could also use the ghost if you wanted to, because you can bring their ghost back, and not even bring them back to life, but just add the ghost to your household, and you could use them as a ghost if you wanted. I mean, like, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, I think my- what I would probably do is either play with them as a ghost, or just not care. Um, but it's totally up to you. Um, I don't really mind. <laughs> yeah, you just move on. Exactly, Allie, that's the thing. It doesn't matter that much. You just go darn and continue on with the challenge. That's the spirit. <laughs> um, that is the spirit. Okay. So, while you're here, you're kind of hungry again. I guess you could buy yourself some more food. Chips and salsa, that sounds good. Um, okay. Oh, there's even drinks. You could steal one. May as well. Poor Alphaba is really struggling with this, huh? Maybe you should go pee first. I don't think we're gonna finish this one. You're like, womp womp, at least they had a kid already. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, well, never mind. We did pee on the floor. That's okay. She really is stinking up the place, huh? <laughs> MJ Wallace Lemons, thanks for the subs. Oh, why? <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, that's a good question also. Um, like, what do you do if you don't have kids to work? The community has made, like, base game versions of this. Um, let's just end the vacation. So if you wanted to play and you don't have all the packs, there are base game ones. So you're able to, like, use that. I didn't write a base game one, but the community has written a base game one. So there's a lot of um, options out there. You can Google, like, base game, not so very. Um, you'll find it pretty easily. We don't have the cleaning spell yet. I know. Very sad. Truly, truly devastating, our lack of cleaning spell. But we'll get there. Why is that Sim green? Is it the plant occult? No, no, she's a she's a spellcaster, and she just also is green. Like Elphaba <laughs> from Wicked. People, you know what's hilarious? A lot of people only know Elphaba from Realm of Magic. Um, they have never heard of Wicked or seen Wicked, they don't know about Elphaba, the character. They know about Elphaba. <laughs> and Elphaba is based on Wicked Elphaba, who is green. Um, but anyway, she's green because she's Elphaba. Um, but people will know now. When the new movie comes out, they're gonna know for sure now. So that's fun. Um, it'll bring it back into the pop culture. <laughs> Okay, so you can talk to Lincoln, that's fine. You need to maintain focus for two hours straight of video gaming. 
Am I excited for the movie? I'm a huge fan of Wicked the Musical, so I am looking forward to the movie. I think it's going to be fun. Um, I think it'll be kind of fun. Okay, green. The green one is the focusing decor, so. Enable emotional aura. Sorry, oops. Um, it's an awesome musical. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's pretty fun. There's a movie coming? Yeah, it's uh, very recently. The trailer just dropped a couple days ago. We don't, we're not gonna be able to maintain focus, are we? That's fine. You can just program then, Moss, I guess. We'll do video gaming later when you're not in as much of a... Honestly, you wanna hack? Hack the National Sim Security Agency. That seems bad. That actually seems extremely dangerous. The idea of hacking the Sim Security Agency, but... Okay. Get leftovers. Um, and then you also need to achieve level four gardening skill. And we need to win some duels against spellcasters that I haven't really done yet. Evolve. Anything else need evolving? You can weed those. That one, well, I just saw one needs to be evolved. There you go. Do these need watered at all? No. No. Okay. Well, you go take care of it a little bit. I might even have her plant some, like, extra stuff. Just because planting helps build skill. <laughs> I'm trying to get skill. Um, D3, skinny faith. Thank you for the subs, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, you're going to Taylor Swift in August? Oh, very exciting. That's going to be super cool. Okay, the game, the weeding is like totally broken. The movie parts that were filmed just down the road from you, that's really cool. Was it like really exciting that they were in town filming or was it like frustrating and inconvenient that they were in town filming? Cause I feel like people have sort of conflicting opinions. Cause sometimes when there's movies in town filming, it's like really, really, really bad and totally, uh, throws off everything and makes it, you know, traffic and you can't get to where you're trying to go and stuff. Or was it exciting? <laughs> yeah, the weeds have been broken. It's really, really frustrating. I know. Transformers stop traffic where you are. Yeah, exactly. So people are understandably kind of annoyed at that. I've heard about like TV shows and stuff filming on college campuses and that being really annoying for the people that go to school there too, which totally makes sense. It's like fun when it's a novelty, like if the movie's in town for just a bit, but when it's a TV show that films every season, I could see that being really frustrating. So, all right, I'm just gonna cheat this now because it's being annoying. I've tried, she's just gonna keep weeding them over and over again, so I will cheat it away. Set gardening state, not plant evolution, oops. Set gardening state, no, oh my god, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Weeds, mulched, okay. That seems good to me. Now you water these, yeah? I just want more skill. It's Chicago, we're kind of used to it. Yeah, growing up, they filmed a bunch of movies, um, like where my dad was growing up, kind of, sort of, not really exactly, but you know, that was always happening and they were always like, kind of excited about it. Broccoli's old? Oh dear God. Okay. Yikes. I find that inconvenient. Um, Gordon Ramsay went to the restaurant you cooked for and said it was the biggest burger he'd ever had. <laughs> no way. That's kind of fun. Did you get a chance to meet him or anything when he was there? I love that actually. Okay, would you like to? It's fun to meet celebrities. I bet it was scary to cook for Gordon Ramsay though. He scares me a little. <laughs> Understandably so, I think. <laughs> Way above. Makes sense, I guess. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Oops, sorry. I don't know if you heard that. I opened my own stream for a second. I heard myself say, okay. <laughs> no one wants to listen to that. Um, okay, um, 
So... Perhaps... You finish cooking that, we'll get some more food in the house. I am gonna move out algae, I think, tonight. I think that's my plan. Have I met any celebrities? Yeah, I've met Rick Astley a couple times. We met virtually over Zoom for a charity thing. And then we met uh, in person when I got to go backstage at his concert, true story. Um, <laughs> so I met Rick Astley in person. Otherwise, I guess I've met some YouTubers, um, but not really the same as mega famous celebrity Rick Astley, you know? <laughs> the different levels, right? Okay, so, oh, our dad's here. You can come in. That might be nice, actually, if you came in. Um, okay, so maybe you use the bathroom. We really need to work on our skills, huh? We also, we need to try and duel other spellcasters, but I don't think we can now that we're pregnant, right? I don't think so. All right, grab a serving, grab a serving. Do not, if you eat that cow plant, I swear to you. Okay, you're fine, Never mind. sorry. I just saw the cow plant thing and I got really scared. I was about to get really mad at this sim. <laughs> oh, that would have been bad. Okay, Pickle has six days until he ages up. You're gonna have school tomorrow, Pickle. I have to make sure we're ready. The popcorn you bought today expired in December? No, that's devastating. They sold you expired popcorn? Oh. I'm really sorry. Like genuinely really sorry that that happened. Um, okay, would you like to go to sleep? Oh, that's not your bed, sorry. Yeah, can you get refunded for the popcorn? I know it's like really frustrating to have to go back, but can you bring it back and be like, look, here's my receipt, I bought this today and it's expired. <laughs> Cause that's really annoying. Oh, now you're burnt out too? You're fine. Um, it's just frustrating that you have to go all the way back to the store and stuff. Cause you probably didn't notice, you know, until you probably went to eat it just now, you know, and then it, oh, it's expired. Um, you bust them in the grocery store that expired last summer? Oh no, that's heartbreaking, Christine. That's so annoying. And of course you don't notice till you get home and like, ugh. I guess that's a good reminder to check expiration dates in the store, which you feel like you shouldn't have to, but, um, ugh, anyway, <laughs> at least you go back to the grocery store a lot, right? Like for the most part. So it's not the most inconvenient place to have to be. <laughs> of all the places, grocery store is, you know, um, okay. Let me clear this and then save the game too. You once found a canned good that expired in 2002? Oh my god. <laughs> when I remember a time cleaning out my parents' pantry, I found an unopened bag of like coconut flakes, like for baking, that expired in like 2003. This would have been in like 2010. So it wasn't like as bad as now, but we moved in 2004. So they were already expired when we moved and she brought them and put them in the pantry and they stayed there for years <laughs> until I was like, like I became sentient as a 10 year old and said, mom, these expired seven years ago. <laughs> we brought them with us to Florida and everything. <laughs> it happens. Um, and that reminds me also in high school, this is probably a good a thing to point out, I guess, but in high school, I volunteered quite a bit at the food bank, the local food bank. Um, and one of the things they had me do almost every single time was sort through cans and look for expired cans because they're not going to give people expired food from the food bank. But a lot of the time when people donate food to the food bank, they just go through their cabinets and find like, oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. And then donate, donate it. 
but you're not going to give people food that expired five years ago, you know? Um, so they had us, like, that's what I was doing most of the time was just going through and checking dates on all the cans. Um, and you have to get rid of a lot of things that's like long expired. Um, so don't donate. Oh my God, tofu's old too. Oh dear God. But don't, please don't donate expired things to food banks. Um, that's not cool. If you wouldn't want to eat it, why would you, you know, give it to them? Um, but it's a pretty critical job that people have to do that, unfortunately. Um, also, if you can, giving money to food banks is even more effective than giving them food because they can buy, like, their dollar is more powerful than yours because they've got, like, deals with um, maybe, like, local farmers or, or, you know, whatever it might be. They can usually get more for, for the buck than you can. Um, so giving money to food banks is also quite helpful because they can push that dollar farther than you can. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, good reminder, just please don't donate expired food. Um, that's no no fun, no good. And then they have to spend time like going through all the expired food as well, you know? So, um, I don't think people mean to be cruel when they do that, but it does feel kind of cruel. <laughs> I think they mean well, maybe they didn't notice, I don't know, but. Um, yeah, we would find these cans that were like, like old, <laughs> like a can of corn that was like six years old. That was probably in like the back of the corner. Yeah, and also when you give money to the food bank, they can buy what's actually needed, um, not just like, you know, what people give them um, because they want to provide, you know, like everything and not just a bunch of boxes of mac and cheese or whatever. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Um, it also, that's another great point, Jenna. Yeah, it is actually really easy to volunteer at the food pantry um, if you're able to. Um, they they make it quite easy to, at least here locally, they make it quite easily easy to get volunteers. Um, and they need volunteers, so. Um, why are there so many ghosts? Oh. <laughs> uh, I have a very large number of graves. Um, okay. So... I guess we'll just triple speed more longer. Um, okay, uh, and Thea and Teresa, thank you for the subs too. Um, all right. And oh, I'm sorry, I'm like so distracted and bored because it's so long. Not being able to triple speed through the night is so boring, but I have too many ghosts so I can't triple speed through the night. <laughs> but I like them, I think they're fun. You know? <laughs> okay, uh, don't, please don't be paranoid, actually. That's really bad. I'm not interested in that. Maybe come use the bathroom and mop this up. I feel like a lot better than that. I have been feeling better since, um, since yesterday, since Sunday night, really. So we're okay. I tested negative and stuff now, too. So we're, uh, we're, Things are looking up around here. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, feeling a bit better. Wednesday, Thursday of last week were the worst of it. We've been kind of on the mend ever since then. Um, Thursday was kind of the worst, worst, but. Um, all right, everyone's asleep again. <laughs> yeah, we already tested negative. I know that's kind of a relief as well. We, we got COVID on Monday or tested positive on Monday of last week. So been a little bit over a week. Um, anyway, and my back is better too, <laughs> which is also a relief. I couldn't believe that you guys, if, if you missed it on Thursday, I like hurt my back really bad, like twisted it, pulled something in it or something. I was literally, listen to this. I'm laying on the couch, miserable. Oh my God. I'm laying on the couch, absolutely miserable, sick. Okay. Snap is like on me, hang my cat, hanging out, sitting on me. And because she was on me, I like reached kind of weird to try and get my chips. I was trying to get my Doritos, the purple sweet chili Doritos. I was trying to get my Doritos. I lean over somehow in my leaning, I severely injure my back. All of a sudden I can't move. I can't move, I'm stuck. I said, Dan, <laughs> I hurt myself really bad. And then I just had to lay there for hours. I had to get help going to bed because I couldn't get up. I, I injured myself this bad on the couch, on the couch. I was on the couch the whole time. <sighs> the last time I hurt my back, 
I was like that kind of similar. I was cleaning the litter box, like doing a deep clean of it. So I was like, you know, bending over weird and lifting it and all this stuff, um, which makes more sense. That's more justified than chips. Chips. <sighs> anyway, um, rip algae, I guess. <laughs> that was a good screenshot. I'm pretty glad we got that one. <laughs> It makes for a funny story. It does make for a funny story, especially now that I feel better. Um, anyway. <laughs> okay, um, I guess I could probably, sorry to like kick you out, but I might kick you out now. You got ate, eaten by a cow plant one too many times. I might send you away. So. Please tell me Dan calls them the right name, Crisps. Yeah, it's really annoying. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let me get this sim out of here before we end up having one die from a cow plant by accident. Uh-oh. You couldn't move your arm fully for two weeks as you slept weird? Oh, okay, on Sunday, me and Dan had what I called a little read-a-thon, um, where we just read all day, all day only read all day. It was really fun. I read three books on Sunday, but when I was going to bed, I was like, my wrist hurts. <laughs> I was laying there like, my wrist is kind of like weak. I felt really embarrassed. I was like, how did I, I, hold, I held my book too much. <laughs> Hurt my wrist doing it. Anyway, it's kind of funny. I am turning weak, really. I am turning very weak. Um, okay, so would you like to move out you? I ask, I ask like I'm asking him. You have no choice but to leave. Um, do you want to kick out this people, these people, their family? So we can live nearby. Oh no, maybe we can move up here. This feels a little bit less bad to kick out this sim. You know? That's spelt wrong. Free real estate on. Okay, bye. Oh, I'll bulldoze it. I'll just get a lot that I've built because I've made some kind of cute ones. I can give you a little house. You hurt your wrist holding books too? That makes me feel good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. Um, how long were the books? Um, I read The Lost Apothecary, which wasn't a super long book. Um, then I read Book Lovers by Emily Henry, also not a super long book. Um, and I read Percy Jackson and The Sea of Monsters, short book. So they weren't like big, long books, but I read all day, so. Um, okay, Did, uh, you love Book Lovers? I liked it. I was told that I was gonna like that one the best out of all of Emily Henry's books. Um, and I liked it, I think. Um, okay, a residential please. We're looking for a little cottage of sorts that maybe I have built. Oh, I built this here. That's cute. Let's give them this house. Um. Gardener's Cottage, furnished. Can't wait to graduate and read for fun again. Yeah, seriously, when I was in college, it really, um, it really threw off my like reading for fun vibes. <laughs> Being in college, um, yeah. I mean, you have so much to do. It's hard to find the time to read for fun. Um, so I get it. I kind of had a, a little, I fell off a little bit too in college, which made me feel sad, but um, it's just hard. I especially because I was like, I, I, have, I have a history degree, so it's like so much reading, you know, everything is, but it's like just a lot. So I wasn't really reading anything for pleasure at the time. <laughs> um, only read during breaks. Yeah, I could see that. You're an English lit student. Yeah, see, like you're not reading for fun, are you right now? <laughs> You're only reading that stuff. Um, I get it. I get it. 
<laughs> Taylor, thanks for the 20 month resub too. Thank you so much. Go through waves of reading. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Everybody kind of goes through waves with any hobby. Um, you double majored in history and English. Oh my God. So you were reading. You were reading a lot, <laughs> but not for fun. <laughs> Completely different vibe. Well, you made it through. You made it through. Um, uh, Cookie, the only reason they're deleting your message is because you, uh, we try to avoid talking about age in chat. You're not in trouble. Um, it's, it's more of like a, a lead by example sort of thing for, um, some of the minors in chat. I would prefer if like the minors didn't say how old they are. Um, so we kind of try and tell people like, hey, don't talk about your age. <laughs> um, it isn't that big of a deal, really. It's more just like we try to avoid it. Um, so no problem. You're not like going to get banned for that. Obviously, I'll be ridiculous. And obviously you're an adult, so it's fine. But again, just trying to lead by example. I don't want somebody to be like, hey, it's my 16th birthday. Like, shh, <laughs> don't say that, you know. Um, there's not a lot of minors here anyway. Um, but it's just, I think, a good uh, rule of thumb. We don't want them to talk about their age on the internet. <laughs> so, um, don't talk about your age on the internet. Okay, I'm gonna try and get all these things fixed quick too. And I guess we, that's good because we can get some skills built up. Yeah, we obey the rules so it's fair. Kind of just like a blanket statement across everybody. One rule, same rule for everyone. Got a new library card? Oh, that's fun. Libraries are such a blessing. Um, it's really great, a great resource if you've got a, access to a library in your community. Oh, don't go in there yet. Your sibling's in there. Um, oh, that's, I ruined that too. Um, okay. I'm not joining you, Pickle. I don't care to. I don't know. You're rereading The Lord of the Rings? Really? I've been trying to convince Dan that he should read Lord of the Rings. I think it's uh, kind of a daunting task for him, but Dan's like a little Lord of the Rings movie fanboy. Um, so I've been trying to convince him that he should read them. But I think he would like them a lot. But I think that it's uh, a daunting task. I've only recently got him into reading, like this year. <laughs> um, I managed to get him to trick him into reading a lot with me, so. <laughs> Um, maybe he'd like the audiobooks. That's true. That might be a good one for him. His stream title yesterday was something like, I'm in my reading era. I don't remember what it was exactly. Couldn't finish Lord of the Rings, really? I've never read it. I don't really have much interest in reading it, though. Um... Yeah, anyway, audiobooks are fun. Share, <laughs> share my ways. What with convincing him to start reading? I mean, it just took finding a book that he would like to read. I, um, to be honest, part of it was I went on and on and on and on talking about how much I liked Divine Rivals and being like, you should read Divine Rivals. You should read Divine Rivals. You should read Divine Rivals. Just going on and on and on. And then he was finally like, you know what, fine, maybe I will. But that was also after we went to the bookstore because I was buying books. And then I was like, maybe you should look around and see what you want to read. Um, and then he picked up a book called The Thursday Murder Club because it was written by a British man. And he was like, oh, it's British. And then he read it and he liked it. So then all of a sudden, all of a sudden he's reading books with me. So <laughs> I read The Thursday Murder Club too. I liked it well enough. Um, it's, a, it's about like a retirement home in the UK and then there's like some murders and then these nosy old people are trying to like meddle and solve them. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but anyway, they were, they were fine. I liked the book. Um, I haven't read the rest of them, just the first one, but I liked it enough. You know what? Let's go to the magic realm with Elphaba. While we're here today, we can see if we can get some more skill stuff. Um, the book title again. Um, the one that I convinced Anne that I liked is called Divine Rivals. And then the book that he read, the murder book, is called The Thursday Murder Club. So... It's a bit slow at first. Yeah, I I don't know. I think it takes a certain kind of person to like it too because um, there's a lot of POV switching between a, a large group of people. Um, you're following a lot of characters, so it might be confusing to you in that way. 
Um, and it's like old people meddling, just like being like judgy <laughs> and annoying, and you might not like it. <laughs> um, I think it's kind of interesting, but I can see why it wouldn't appeal to everybody. Um, but it's following a lot of characters, so that might be a little bit confusing to you if you read it. I don't know. Um, you gotta like kind of keep track of everybody and everything that's going on. Um, okay, well I'll just harvest all of this, and then I might try and find the, the people. Finally, Carp is here again. She wasn't here the other day, so I couldn't get taught my magic. Okay, teach me a potion recipe, please. More than Lord of the Rings? Oh no, not like that. <laughs> this is a different kind of book, but, um, you know, Dan hasn't read Lord of the Rings, so neither have I. Can she duel in her current condition? Oh no, I'm not gonna have her duel. I'm just trying to learn spells. I got minion eyes. Whoa. See, that's the good stuff. That's what we came here for. Magic? No. Ask to teach practical magic, please. I'm trying to learn all my spells. Pretty soon I'm gonna go try and set fire to Polynesia's Pollination, house. Um. Oh, I did get the cleaning spell. Why did I think I didn't have it? Well, that changes everything. We also got the food spell. We're getting some good ones. Maybe we could go minionize Polynation. That could be fun. All right, let me talk to this Sim too, quick. Um, teach me a potion recipe. Teach me some mischief magic, please. Thank you. Curse cleansing? That's not a bad one to have. Um, yeah, I rebuilt this. This is the magic lot in Realm of Magic. Uh, I rebuilt it because I was trying to make things better. <laughs> Um, teach me a potion again, if the option is there to me. I learned every potion I possibly could! That's what I wanted, open spell book. We're getting somewhere, we gotta do some more experimenting. For immortality, transcendent charmer, and prompt resurrection. Okay, um, in the meantime, Mischief Magic Sage, would you like to magically train me? Yeah, I rebuilt this on stream. Um, I also posted a YouTube video on it afterward, um, but there will be VODs for it and a YouTube video on it. <laughs> there will be both <laughs> if you're looking for them. Um, okay. Well, we'll just keep training until it's time to go home, I guess. May as well. Now, we're gonna give birth any time. We're in our third trimester. So that's kind of something to consider, I guess. We're also gonna pee our pants, which is pretty bad. Um, it is not only Realm of Magic in the base game. There's quite a few packs in this build. I mean, you can see right here, we got like Cottage Living going on, the Book Nook kit, um, lots of stuff happening. I did pee my pants again. Let's go home. All right, so we have to start thinking about names though, because the blue gen is gonna be born any second. Um, I'm thinking like gender neutral sort of names. I mean, any name can be gender neutral, but just to let you all know. Um, and we want something funny, like Moss isn't that funny, but like we have a sim called Pickle, you know? So some I don't want something obvious. Like I think River, obvious. Sky, obvious. Bluey, too close to my Legacy Air Blue from the other Legacy on my YouTube channel. Smurf? See, Smurf! That's, we're talking now. That's the spirit. <laughs> Jeans? <laughs> Wait, denim! <gasps> denim! That could be a name. We can call it denim. I kind of like that. That actually feels good. Jort is also kind of funny. If we call them Jort, come on. Not Jorts, plural, just Jort, singular. 
Oh, we can't afford our bills. Um, but I think Jort Singular is also funny. <laughs> Maybe I should call it Jort. <laughs> we'll have to think about it. I'm not really sure yet. <laughs> okay, all of this is spoiled, but that's fine because I can sell the spoiled stuff and then we'll get money to pay our bills. You know that spell already? Okay, sell it. I can sell that fish too. No, we don't know if we're having twins. We don't know what, what uh, the baby is either. It hasn't been, we didn't check. So we'll find out as soon as we go into labor, I guess. We don't have a nursery yet, no. We don't have enough money for a nursery. Cause I have to pay my bills. Bad news, I know. Once I get all this food sold, I guess I could sell, honestly, we keep harvesting all this stuff. So I could probably sell a bunch of it for now. Start somewhere like that. I don't know. Yeah, I think like Sapphire is a good one. We can also finally sell algae stuff because algae has gone now. So we have that too. Um, all right, goodbye algae. It was fun while it lasted but you are gone. All right, that leaves us enough money to redo Algie's room into the baby's room, which is also good. Okay. Megamind? <laughs> you think I should name the baby Megamind? <laughs> you know, that's like a slightly different vibe. Um. Cool blue Gatorade, Frozone! Oh my god, Megamind Meg for short, please. <laughs> Sully is actually not too bad. Like after Sully from Monsters Inc. I could, I could see Sully. That's kind of good too. I think the Jort is a hilarious name. I think the Denim is a good name. Denim has like moss energy, I think. And Silly is also kind of cute. Baja Blast! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's a jort? Oh, like a jean short. Jorts. But they're blue. You know? <laughs> Squidward! Squidward! Oh no. That's horrendous. <laughs> okay, can you cook up? Maybe you make some like eggs and toast. Oh, you have no cooking skill. No, Squibber's not blue enough. It's still funny though. Cool Ranch Dorito. These are all serious ideas. Elsa. <laughs> uh. I have a sim called Dory in my other legacy challenge already, so we can't do Dory. You want to get to know Rebecca better? That's fine. Puddle? Oh. I kind of like Puddle. I also think that Sapphire is fun, but Sapphire is kind of like an obvious one. It's not chaotic. You can't name a kid Jort and then the name the next kid Sapphire. Like that's so mean. Imagine you're Jort and your sister gets called Sapphire. Please. <laughs> Please. I think the Jort and Denim as twins is hilarious. Can we... Hold on. It's just one. What if we made it two and we had them called Jort and Denim? Because we could make it twins, I don't care. I'm gonna regret that so bad. Okay, their names are gonna be Jort and Denim. <laughs> Amazing! And Nell and Mars, thanks for the subs. Okay. I feel good about this now. All right, Moss, not promoted, but you're still doing well. Windex? Oh my God. 
Jean and Sephira would work though. Jean is Jean and Sapphire. Sorry, I said Sephira because I'm thinking about Drag Race. Um, Sephira Crystal on Drag Race, um, who is thriving by the way today with the new Crystal Pack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's I'm not I'm not too worried about the names being real names. You guys, this Sims name is Pickle. We have a brother named Pickle. Jean can be the third kid when their names are Denim, Jort, and Jean. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that too much? <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, it's an idea. It's certainly an idea. That's your name? Yeah, your name is Jean. Are you excited about our, our possibilities? <laughs> Let me evolve any of these that can be evolved. Water, any that need to be watered, you know? Okay. Anyway, we'll see what happens when it's born. I can't believe I'm gonna have twins. This is a mistake. I guess we'll have three kids then. I don't know. You want me to name it Suburban? I, th I saw somebody earlier say Subaru. Which, <laughs> like, I know, I said I only wanted two kids. I did make a big deal about that the other day. I was like, we're only having two kids, but now I'm having twins. So huge mistake, but that's okay. It's okay. I wonder if the kids are gonna be blue. We could get a, like a dog or a cat called Smurf probably, which might also be cute. I'm okay with that. Okay, you need to use the bathroom and then go to sleep because you're really going through it today. All right, and then Moss. Oh, I guess because you're programming, maybe you can clean up a little bit and then like prepare this. 1989 TV. <laughs> We could call it that. That's an idea. Broccoli's running away? Oh dear. That's okay, I've got one less thing to worry about. Sorry, that sounds bad, but... It happens. Is Moss a plant? Sam, no, Moss is just a Sam. No plant sims here. Um, Moss's uh, wife is a spellcaster. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot that we got our photo of Moss when they were dying. Let me put that on the wall. Is that in yours? Yeah, here. That's good. We just gotta get one more photo. Maybe I could put one of the babies up there when they're born. That would be good. All right, you come watch TV maybe. And then, could you afterward? Oh my god, they both got- someone got eaten again? Moss was dying? Oh yeah, they, um, they had a little poison problem with- on, on our honeymoon, as you can see, we had a... Bit of an incident. <laughs> I fixed it though, it's fine. We got attacked with like a poison dart or something. But it was kind of good. It, I felt like it like really matched our vibes, you know? <laughs> okay, you probably should stop working on the game at this point, Moss. Did your sibling not even finish repairing this? Ridiculous. Go away. There you go. All right, come on, Moss, hurry up. They did it for the aesthetic. They did it for the vibes, yeah. They wanted, they just wanted to like really get the full vacation experience and they always dreamed of being green, you know? And MCC, it said two females, not two male babies. Um, what's the problem? Are you implying that the name Jort is gendered? <laughs> Denim? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, I think anybody can be Jort. I really feel strongly that names don't really have gender in that way with our Sims. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but also, the name's Jort. <laughs> Maybe it's because originally it said one male baby. I don't remember. Um, I'm not really that worried about it. I just pressed two offspring and then it randomized, but... 
Um. Okay, everybody to bed, please. We're all kind of going through it, but we're gonna have the baby soon, so just want to get our sleep in. Um. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, thank you for apologizing. Um, I know nobody means any harm. We just try and be really careful about um, not allowing anyone to misgender the sim because obviously there's folks in the chat um, that, you know, don't want to be misgendered either. So we try to be really uh, strong about that. Um, but best thing to do is just apologize and move on if it happens. It happens. It's okay. Just, you know, try and be careful. Jordimer! Oh my god. <laughs> Full name Jordimer. I actually like that. We'll just call the kid Jort, but full name Jordimer for sure. Um, make happy. Okay. I like it. Everyone keeps sleeping until the kid's born. Oh, also save the game. Just to be safe. Literally safe. Oh, have a good night, Maria. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Blue Chihuahua named Smurf. Oh, Jordimer Goth. Wait, Jordimer Joth. <laughs> maybe we should try to find, like, maybe we can. We can always make them, but we could try and pretend that they're marrying into the. Oh my God! Here, here it comes. We could try and pretend that Jort is marrying into the Goth family. We could like make a a twenty gens in Goth descendant. <laughs> But their last name is Joth now. Because, you know, over time, like, things change, they get misspelled, they get mispronounced. It's been a long time, so... The Goth family is the Joth family now, and, um... <laughs> we are Jordan or Joth. Yeah, languages change. Like, just the way that you pronounce things and we speak changes. 20 generations, like... That is a long time. <laughs> that is a very long time. Um, is Jordan or Joth the heir then? I don't, I don't know. Maybe Jordan or Joth marries someone else and the heir, because we don't want the heir to change their name. Um, okay. Here's Jort. Jort and Denim. I like Denim. Oh my god, they're both green as well. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that one of them might be a spellcaster. Hard to say. I don't really want them to be a spellcaster, so I might have to fix it. When I said, when I did this, I didn't mean, oh my god, I didn't mean, like, get rid of them. I meant, like, fix the spellcaster thing. Um, and if they're both green, we'll make them blue in cast. I'll make them blue in cast. We just can't do it when they're babies, but... Um, we'll make them so that they're blue. I- I didn't mean, like, the- that was- yeah, okay. <laughs> What's the joke with jorts? Is it something blue? Uh, uh, jorts are, like, short- jean shorts. Jeans. Denim jeans. Jeans are blue, blue jeans. Jort. It kind of- I mean, it devolved a little bit, but it's funny. It's real funny. I mean, that's true. You don't have to play with him as a spellcaster. I don't want the air to be a spellcaster, though. Um, I don't want the air to be a spellcaster. I think I would prefer if they were not. Oh my god, we have eight sims. I'm... <sighs> Here we go. But we'll see once they age up. We'll hold off on that one. You usually can tell based on the bassinet they're in, but these are, neither of these are spellcaster bassinets, right? Or is this one a spellcaster bassinet? Oh my god. That's what I thought it was when I first saw it, but now I'm like questioning myself. It is? Yeah. The realm of, so all of the occult sims, they show up in like specialty bassinets. So this realm of magic one, that sim is probably a spellcaster. Much like if you have an alien, they'll be in an alien bassinet. If you have a werewolf, they'll be in the wolf bassinet. Um, except mermaids. Mermaids don't care. So Jort has magic powers. Yeah, the newborns don't have plum bobs, so you can't tell about their plum bob yet. You have to wait until they're a little bit older for that. Get out! Clayton is like a long ago sim. Well, these babies are the Gen 10 Sims. 
So officially, Gen 10 has been born, but to make matters even more shocking, those babies are the 20th generation of this save. Hold on. Here's Gen 1, Piper. Those babies are Gen 20. Isn't that wild? It's kind of fun. 20 gens! <laughs> We've been playing for so long. <laughs> I think it's really fun to have a save for this long. Obviously, you don't need to worry about these sims. They've been dead for so long. We are gonna have um, the babies. These babies are gonna try and bring Piper back to life. She's gonna be like a real role model for them. Um, it's kind of the plan. So. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Okay, maybe... Well, maybe now's a good time for us to redo their bedroom. You think? I'll update it. I'll update it. Um, okay. So, we want, like, a little blue nursery. That's all. I don't know if they're all gonna fit in here, to be honest. I may even, um... Oh, you can't really do that, can you? Yikes. Okay, that being there is fine then. Um, okay. Yeah, when I made Piper, I, went, I was like talking to chat about how, I was like, I know I keep making new legacies, but this one, we're actually gonna do this legacy. This one's gonna stick. We're gonna play the whole legacy. Um, was what we were, what we were telling chat at the time. And then we played 20 generations. <laughs> um, this is my, my, uh, first time ever playing in a save for 20 gens. Um, but we, uh, we really stuck with that one. We took that promise seriously. <laughs> oh. Deleted my stuff. Okay. Oh, you know what could be really cute? I actually kind of like that. Maybe keep that wooden. I don't know. The babies could have this. I think that's cute and fun. Yeah. Yeah, the plan right now, I think, is to play for 26 generations because you get an achievement. It's called the Alphabet Legacy Achievement. 26 gens, 26 letters. Um, but I think the goal right now is to try and get that alphabet legacy achievement. Uh oh, sorry. I didn't mean to yawn. Oh no. Oh, those curtains actually look really good. Um, but that would be kind of fun. I don't know. We're probably going to do some sort of challenge thing next, but I haven't 100% decided what it will be for these sims. I might, I might let us hold off on that a little bit and think about it more once they're older. Because it'll be like this sims kids that are starting that so um okay so we need to have two cribs <laughs> i don't even know if we can get two cribs in here it's really tight um oh we have more stuff i can sell for money three oh well wow, there's actually quite a bit of stuff that we can sell for money i don't think i saved any of my cribs okay that's fine um the requirements for the blue gen i can tell you so this sim, they are going to, it says, you have the perfect life, white picket fence, loving spouse, beautiful children, but why do you still want more? You have a one-time secret affair and will regret it for the rest of your life. Afterward, you pour your soul into raising your children and fixing your marriage. You never admit the affair to anyone and dedicate your life to being the perfect parent. And they are gloomy, perfectionist, and family-oriented. They have the super parent aspiration. They're in the critic career. Um, they have photography, cooking, and parenting skills. Um, they have to marry their high school sweetheart and stay with them until you die and have the one-time secret affair. So, drama. Just like their grandparent. It's gonna be just like our evil grandpa and his alien. Um, okay, so... It's gonna be the blue suburban of our dreams for sure. Their house is gonna be like peak blue suburbia though. It's gonna be really fun, just you wait. All right, two cribs for the two babies. I guess I'll make them like nice and light blue. 
will I kill off the affair? I don't know. It depends. It depends who we end up having the affair with, I guess. When you think about it, you know? Oh, I'm gonna have a fantastic time with this. The blue gen is just gonna speak to me. I can't- I actually can't wait. Okay. Um, what else do we need to get for them? Maybe like a blue rug? Denim should be the heir. They can secretly be jealous of Jort. You think so? I'm okay with Denim being the heir. We can- well, we can wait until we have the third baby too, because I think we will have a third kid. Um, so we don't have to decide, like, straight away. We can always pick it out, you know, once we've had some more kids or whatever. We're gonna want to get a changing table, probably. And I guess we don't really need to, um, oh, you know what we could do? Maybe I'll stick the kids in here for now. Make them easier to access when they scream. That's gonna keep us awake, but it's okay. Then I can decorate better upstairs anyway. We'll want to get the playmats, but I'm kind of thinking I'll bring the playmats downstairs. I'll like put the playmat in the living room. Cause this room's quite tight for two babies, I think. So we can try and bring playmats downstairs more. Denim has an affair with Jort's partner? <gasps> oh, that's evil. You think they have an affair with their sibling's partner? Ouch. And neither of them ever admits to it. So Jort never knows what happened. Oh, that's horrible. That's so messed up. That is really so messed up. You know, what's some kind of funny insider lore um, about the Not So Berry Challenge with this, uh, this legacy challenges rule for this generation? Um, part of why I, we like wrote this cheating plot line in is because we were like, oh, we never ever have our Sims cheat on anybody. Like we should try and have them cheat. <laughs> and now, I feel like my, uh, gameplay style- not that my sims are all cheaters, but I feel like, um, things have just become more chaotic over the years since I wrote the challenge. I- I play the sims very differently now than I did then when it was written, you know? <laughs> uh, Nate, thank you for the 500 bits, by the way. Thank you so much. If you want to cheat, you have the decency of killing your spouse first. Oh, see, you're right. Whenever my sims cheat, it usually results in somebody end up ending up dead, which obviously is better. <laughs> yeah. Duh. You get it. Except in this case, the person who ended up dead most recently was my legacy heir, so... I guess I had that one coming, huh? <laughs> That is my own fault. <laughs> okay, surfaces. Um, I kind of want to put like, what if the spouses were besties? No, that's so mean. Maybe. We'll see what ends up happening. I keep using this above the, I just like it. Maybe I'll use one of the base game ones though. Okay. Um. Maybe we get like two of these little... Oh my god, I saw a video on TikTok. This person was like, they had their baby on the changing table, kind of like this. And um, the baby was like, they had a mirror there. And the baby was laying there, like shaking the mirror. And she kept being like, no, don't play, ha ha ha, don't do that. <gasps> take the mirror down. Oh my god, take the mirror down. What are you doing? Get rid of it. No, no, no. The baby can't be like touching the mirror that... But look, and the comments weren't even like that mad at her for it, which I thought not to be like, don't bully people on TikTok, but kind of in this case, the baby was like laying right here and it, the mirror was clearly nailed only up top. And the baby was like holding onto the bottom and like pulling it. That is so dangerous. That is so dangerous. Oh my God. And this is why in real life, people don't hang anything above cribs and above like changing tables and stuff. 
Um, like, a lot of people are like, I'm never gonna hang anything up right there because they just feel like it's not safe, you know? Um, but, yeah, it scared me. <laughs> it scared me when I saw that. <laughs> but anyway, it's what, all that to say, this is The Sims. Um, this is The Sims, and, uh, I'm not gonna put this here. You don't have to worry about that in The Sims. Nothing bad happens in The Sims. After we just talked about killing our Sim spouses, but that's different. Um, does... The babies don't even need these. I'm yawning again. I'm sorry, chat. That's my bad. Probably making you all yawn now. I do like that that has the blue swatch, I must say. Um, maybe put that there now. Just so I can get that scooted over a bit more. Um... Okay, that seems good. Yeah, I get that, Alexa, I totally get that. Um, I like how it's a dog too, that's cute. Maybe you can have things over your own head and you're a full grown adult. <laughs> yeah, see? Um, okay, parenthood, let's see about like little, I'm okay if this is uh, kind of blocking the teddy bear a bit. It's more just about vibes, this part. So, Brindleton Bay for the next gen. Ooh! I, you know what? I think Brindleton Bay has blue vibes. Does that make sense when I say it? Do you get what I mean? It's because of cats and dogs. Like, because cats and dogs has so many blue things. Brindleton Bay feels like a good spot for a blue suburban. I can totally see that happening. Okay. So, we've got that stuff set up. Maybe I'll get another little teddy bear. I like the blue. Yeah, Brindleton Bay is gonna work with our like, the we're going for like peak blue suburban, classic blue suburbia vibes, you know? And Brindleton Bay is going to fit that quite nicely. Alright, I put some toys. Okay, I like that. Anything that we could put over here that the babies might want? I don't really know. Obviously, like, the play mat, but otherwise... Um, Denim and Jort could be neighbors too. Oh my god. We could put like two lots on the one and then we could have them be neighbors and then we have the affair with like Jort's partner. <gasps> That's so messed up. That's so messed up. Where did the babies go? Oh, I put them downstairs. I put them in the parents' room for now just to make it easier for me to like uh, take care of them while they're down there. I don't know if it was a good idea, but that's what I did. Why does none of this feel blue enough? Oh, that one seems okay. Should I try and put two of them? <laughs> Just like completely fill up the infant room with a bunch of baby stuff. Um, maybe I'll put a dresser over here as well. We got two kids living in this room, so. The twins live in a duplex. I'm wondering, cause I, I'm kind of thinking we can move on to one of the really big lots in Brindleton Bay. And instead of it being a duplex, we could literally just give them, like, two houses all on the one lot. We could, like, combine a bit tight. Yeah, it is a bit tight, but I kind of like that it's a bit tight. I don't know. We can stick to just the one. They have more space to play around if you guys don't like it. Um, but anyway, we could, like, have them both live on the same lot, but in, like, individual homes. Let's use the Bigfoot stuffy. I kind of like it. Um, okay. Yeah, with like the rent pack, exactly. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. We're all on the same page. Okay, colors, blue. Maybe we put in... No, I want something kind of cutesy, like... 
the stuff that we have on the other wall. But most of this is very fancy. Oh, let's just, you know what? Let's get a spot to hang up some photos. I'll take some pictures of them as their kids and then we'll use it. This will be a good start for now. Let's not spend too much extra money either, just in case. And we'll be able to add more to it later. That's a nice room. So this generation, um, but uh, I think that there, this is the ninth generation. Sorry, the 10th generation. Oh my God, this is the ninth generation. These babies are gen 10, they're the blue gen. So that's kind of where we're at with this. Um, let's save the game. And then I guess we'll just add to it next time we play when they get older. No, they're not gonna stay green. I'll make them blue, I think. Um, so they'll, you know, inherit their mother's uh, greenness, but they'll be blue because it's the blue gen. <laughs> you just can't change it when they're only newborns, but I'll make them blue. It'll be more fun, I think, for them to be blue. <laughs> Cause it's the blue gen. <laughs> we want to like really embrace the blue vibes. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at right now. I think they had twins. Yeah. And you know what makes it worse? I cheated for that. I signed up for it. And the whole reason was that we had two funny names. We named them denim and jort. And we thought, oh, this will be so funny. They can be denim and jort. And that's like both blue is both like jean themed. Huge mistake. Okay, change outfit. Let's put you in the frozen bunny one. And then maybe I'll put you in so fishticated. Oh, that's so cute. It's a freezer bunny one. That's really sweet. Okay, fix this one too. Now we have twins. Uh oh. Well, we'll see how it goes. I love the fish one. I think that's so cute. I would literally wear that in real life, I think. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a fun, uh, you know, so I, I post all of my streams on my second channel. My channel's called More Simsy, where I post all my streams. Um, so it'll be up there on YouTube in a couple of days, uh, but you can also watch it back on Twitch now. Like if you wanted to watch the beginning back, you could watch it like right now from the beginning, even while I'm still online, so. Um, it, it just depends really what's easier for you. You know, I, I'm kind of a, a YouTube watcher. Like I don't really watch past streams on Twitch. Um, but if someone uploads a VOD to YouTube, I'm like more likely to click on it because it's in my sub feed already and I'm seeing it, you know? Um, but you might find it easier to watch on Twitch because you can see the chat on Twitch, which maybe is more preferable to you. Kind of just depends, whatever is best for you. Um, but for Twitch for VODs, like to see chat. Yeah, see for me, when I watch the VOD, it's usually like, I'm just putting it on while I'm doing something. I don't watch my own VODs, <laughs> like somebody else's VOD. I'm usually just like leaving it up. So I'm not really paying attention to chat anyway. Like I kind of just have it open. So even if it was live, I wouldn't really be reading chat because I just like have it in the background while I'm like folding laundry or something, you know? So you're like focused and, and not reading, but um, anyway, everybody's got a preference and it's on both if you need it. So hopefully that's helpful, but it, it just goes up on YouTube a little bit later because I usually schedule them. So um, like tomorrow on YouTube, I, uh, think I'm not posting a VOD. I usually don't post one like once a week because I only stream six days a week. So not posting a VOD tomorrow, but then uh, this one will go up on Friday is the plan because the limited pack build from yesterday is going up on Thursday. So anyway, <laughs> it's here too, if you need it. <laughs> um, and YouTube has like the playlist of all of the previous episodes. What's the baby's name? Um, this one's called Jort and that one is called Denim. So... Levi Potts? I don't know, Levi's like too much of a name. It's a real name. <sighs> like more people like commonly use the name Levi. I, I'd prefer to go for names that are like a bit more special. <laughs> like uh, this Sim's name is Pickle. It's cute though. These two aren't that bad. Their names are Moss and Elphaba, but I just think it's funny to have like silly names. Cause when else can you do it? Like you're playing the Sims. It's this silly, goofy, not so berry challenge. Like, um, I don't know. Oh yeah, the word jort means jean short, by the way, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> it's a weird word. It's a really funny word. <laughs> when else can you name a Sim Baja Blast? That's true, Christine, I guess. 
Everybody you know is called Jort? No way. <laughs> Blue Man Group! Ah. Sonic! <laughs> what was the one that we were joking- There's a couple names we were joking about earlier. There's so many, like, chaotic things that we could- that you could do. Like... It really- so, oh, I liked Silly. We were talking about Smurf also. Mega Mind! That one I liked. I liked Mega Mind. Meg, for short. No. <laughs> Ikea! <laughs> we talked about Frozone as well. That's a good one. Anyway, we're gonna have one more kid, so we've got time to decide. We've got time to think about it. We gotta allow ourselves to let this chaotic naming thing really infiltrate more of our sim saves. Like, we need to just do this all the time, because it's way more fun. Like, why are we out here naming kids Ryan or something? Like, it's just, this is, The Sims is a great opportunity to be silly, and it doesn't even seem weird. That much, at least. You know? Shark? We could call a kid Shark. No. <laughs> Puddle? Tear? Oh my god, we can't call the kid after crying. Whale? That seems mean. <laughs> um, YouTube has the Not So Berry playlist? Yeah, on More Simsy though, not on Lil Simsy. I post them on my second channel. When you go to More Simsy, um, let me pull it up. Uh, there's two Potts family playlists. Um, the first one is just called, um, the like pots family or whatever it's called um so there's on the playlist page i show you i show you hold on um you'll see the not so berry challenge playlist and then there's also the pots legacy playlist that one um so this one is like the master list of all 20 gens and this one is just the not so berry so the second half um so that's kind of how it works um, but this will take you through all of them from the beginning if you wanted to um, you feel like slime is more mean? You think so? Oh, and please ignore the fact that I'm not sub to myself. Um, more Simsy, she posts too much. I don't want to see that in my sub feed. Um, <laughs> I've seen enough of that. <laughs> I've already seen the VODs. I don't need to watch them. You get it. <laughs> you understand. It's fine. <laughs> Lilo, Cal, Lee, thank you for the subs, everybody. You do the same. Oh, I should make an Among Us playlist. I probably should. I kind of forgot about that. I'll, I'll fix that tomorrow. Okay. So anyway, I think after this, I'm probably going to get off stream here in a minute. Um, tomorrow, so on Wednesdays, I stream in the morning. So I'll be here at 9 a.m. Eastern time, and we're going to play House Flipper. We didn't get a chance to play House Flipper last week. I've been playing it most Wednesdays recently, but last week I felt too sick, so I didn't. But tomorrow, House Flipper at 9 a.m. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to play Among Us with some of our Sims friends. Um, so that's the plan for the next couple of days. So stay tuned for those. Thanks for sitting with me today, everybody. I love the Not So Berry Challenge. I always have an actual blast playing this. Like, when I play this save, uh, I just... It always reminds me how much I love The Sims. <laughs> like, I sit here and I'm like, I love playing Sims, <laughs> you know? It's so chaotic in the best way, and I just, I like the sims so hopefully you also have fun um and i'll see you tomorrow if you're gonna be around in the morning if you haven't ever seen house slipper by the way um i think you if you like to build in the sims you'll probably really like house slipper i always say this but like genuine like as a friend recommendation to you watch somebody on youtube or like somebody play house flipper because you might think it's really cool <laughs> if you haven't seen it if you were a sims fan it like genuinely will appeal to you not sponsored or anything just i like the game and i think you will too so um, but it's also it's first person, so it might make you feel a bit, like, ooh, <laughs> motion sick. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's the update. Uh, and I think I may go over now. Oh, you know what? My friend Zeph is, is playing Sims today, doing the Jelly Bean Legacy Challenge. Uh, we might go over there and say hi, yeah? I actually have a 26-month resub to share. So we can go over and raid Zeph, um, and, uh, hang out. So I think she's building today? I'm not really sure, but we'll go over and see what's up. Um, and then, 
I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, well have a great rest of your night. Thank you for hanging out. Also, if you haven't seen, um, just a quick reminder again, there was a trailer for a Sims pack today. Um, you maybe didn't see it. There was a Sims trailer for a new stuff pack that's coming out next week. The trailer came out today. So if you haven't seen that yet, go look on the Sims like social medias. They posted it everywhere on YouTube, Instagram, all the stuff. Um, but go watch it because it's like two minutes long and you might like it. So <laughs> um, anyway, but with that, I'm gonna raise F and I will see you all later. Okay, okay, bye.